Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Dirty 20. Let's <laughs> see how far <laughs> Dorian stretches his arm to get the door. Before he has an arm. Uh, welcome. We're so glad that you are joining us this evening for another exciting episode here at Proficiency Bonus. My name is Michael, your most humble and the merciful dungeon master for the evening. We have a few things we want to first discuss before we get started. We want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody out there. Thank you guys um, for choosing to spend the last bit of your holiday with us. Uh, everybody have yeah. a, good, a good holiday? We did. Everybody, I don't even times. remember it. It was so much. It? There was so much going okay, on. There was a lot going on. There was too much. You guys are fine. There was a lot. A lot. <sighs> So uh, we hope everybody's doing well and enjoyed, the, enjoyed their holidays. We also would like to thank Streamlabs, OBS, and Twitch for allowing us to be affiliated with them. We also want to thank our good friends at Little Dragon Corp and Cardboard Castle Games for coming to partner with us. If you type in exclamation point Little Dragon in the chat, you will get a quick link to Little Dragon Corp's storefront where you can purchase some really cool dice and other RPG-related gear. If you use that coupon code that you see in chat, pro bonus. <laughs> You'll get 10% off of your order. I think they are still currently shut down. I didn't see any news saying that they were not. So if you can order from them and support them, that would be great. And Cardboard Castle Games, if you type in exclamation point CCG in the chat, you'll also get a quick link to their website as well. And they sold me a bunch of miniatures uh, over the course of <laughs> my Christmas Sweet. break. Forever! So, uh, <laughs> I've got lots and lots of stuff. Uh, to throw at these guys uh, coming Don't in throw there. anything at me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, Here, the camera, throw this! <laughs> the camera's picking up a giant, like, bald spot on my head. It's just a shiny. You That's have a fine. shiny? It's it's a, just my whole light. forehead is like that, though. See? It's, it's like... Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> not bald. Because you're going to have that tiny draw. <laughs> I'm like... Well, back on my head. We are going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off, right after our intro video. Is there any other announcements that we needed to throw out really quick, or are we good to go? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Got cool new dice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did our dice exchange. We got some pretty cool dice. I've got rubber duckies in these, so. <laughs> mine have sparkles. And mine Hopefully, are for finished. my players' sake, they roll very low tonight. Let's just. That's it. <laughs> got a new character. We're wind up, ready to go. That's it. We should have done that. We should have given you rigged dice. Rigged oh, dice, yeah. Smart. Uh, but here's the catch. How would you know he'd end up with them? That's mm, the catch. We, That's we worked together. We would have worked together. Put a little star <laughs> on it. Yeah. He has to go on. Well, we're going to go ahead and roll our intro. We'll be back in just a minute with tonight's episode, episode 18 of That's Dragon awesome. Live. So. Stay put. My favorite set. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. We are where we left left off. Our adventure has just opened. Another secret door within this mysterious hidden dungeon beneath this abbey that they've discovered. They just destroyed a massive jade sculpture that animated and tried to attack them as they were rooting through this treasure room, only to discover that this treasure is fake. A bunch of painted wooden tokens and pieces of glass made to look like gemstones. They've been duped into thinking this was actual real coinage. And you guys are standing there. Willow just opened this hidden chamber that leads about 
30 feet down where you can see that it ends with a, a doorway and there's also a door to the right. So basically just how you see, I couldn't set them on the actual platform to where they were located, so I just set them off. Um, at this point, Bayleaf kind of digs down into some of this fake coins and kind of just tosses it to the side and looks at all of you and is just like, I thought, I thought we were after Ozymandias. What, what is all this? I don't know. It's worthless, apparently. But I mean, so far, all we've gotten is attacked by massive skeletal minotaurs and ghosts and found nothing but fake treasure. And he tosses another handful up. This is an outrage. <laughs> I think she's just ups as upset as you are. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, we're, we still have a ways yes, to Bailey. go. So, I mean... That's, we're not here for treasure. You're still going to get paid. I mean, anything that we find extra is a bonus, but don't worry about money. We'll take care of you. What is this place? What are you looking for? S something secret. <laughs> 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 Super spooky things. Uh, I would just... I'm so impressed by your RP we don't, right we don't, now. Yeah, I know, I'm doing really great things. <laughs> Isn't this more exciting than anything you've dealt with over the last few months? Well, aside from the, the pirate raid, which was quite exciting, that I survived. How many months ago was that? About a month and a half. Dang it, it's within the timeline. Fine. <laughs> this is pretty exciting too, though. You'd just be sitting sipping ale if it wasn't for this, so come on, let's go! And then I just keep I walk, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> just, walks away. It's a very uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, wait. Okay. I grab her arm, like remember there are traps, and I stop, and I just kind of stand there because Ramsey may not know that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ramsey does not know that. Copic's looking for the biggest pile of gold he can find in this room. Oh man, the pile's laying all over the place. I'm just gonna walk over and just light it on fire. Blow this fire starts. Oh. Oh no! No! Oh, okay. oh, no! It, stop! It seems stop. like the the paint that is on the wood. Makes it a little bit, it doesn't catch right away, so it would take some time to like get a fire going. Mm. You're gonna make a lot of smoke and then they're just gonna come straight down here. Let's not do that. Is there any vents or anything up in the ceiling? Or like, I doubt it, it's an underground chamber. Is there... Uh, doesn't see, I mean, other than like natural, like little cracks yeah. in the walls and ceiling and stuff, nothing like there's not like a yeah. ventilation or a chimney or anything. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> chimney opening. Cop it. Hey, hey, cop it. Don't light any more of that on fire. Oh, uh, okay. I know, fire's fun. We'll do it outside. Out. Yes, we'll play with fire outside. Okay. Okay. I'm not playing with fire. <laughs> I don't want to play with fire. Y'all are no. yelling. Yeah, we'll do that with All right, we need, to, we need to go. We need to move because we're on a timeline here. Uh, right. Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, I think last time you guys put all the chairs up against the, ta uh, the, the doors. doors that you uh -huh. could and then rushed in here. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, let's... It's pretty much what I do with a rat. You hear, like, scratching uh, inside? What if we move Well, we'll just piles. keep what? focusing on that spell for a while. And okay. We'll keep holding it. We've got plenty of time. We've only been in here for, what, ten minutes? Yeah, it hasn't been very long. Okay. What if we take some of the wooden piles and pile them up in front of the doors? So we have another layer of defense. They have to get I think it would piles. take too long to do yeah. that. Versus Don't how long worry. we have. Um... One of the chests, maybe? How, how heavy is the statue? Well, we gotta be able to get out. We don't know. If we they're... got this guy. The statue's in crumpled pieces. Oh, that's right. Over the floor. Right. From when Kopik picked it up and body slammed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the treasure. <laughs> uh, let's just go. Okay. Let's just keep going. Okay. That sounds good. I wanna, I wanna be on the back end, just like watching. Like, you know, walking backwards. Okay. Oh, fine. Um, so you're mo or Obu, or you, you're in the back. Mm -hmm. Who's going to lead? I'll lead. Okay, lead? Okay. I'll be right behind Willow then. All right. But um, the hand, like, right at the back of her collar the entire time. That sort of... Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> yank. Yoink! <laughs> the light from this chamber, there are some torches that are lit. Okay. And Silas, you would probably recognize, maybe even you two would recognize that they seem to be ever-burning torches. Mm -hmm. Like, magical flames. Mm -hmm. And... Yoink. The light, that hallway is not illuminated, but the light from this chamber kind of glistens down into there. So you guys are able to see down there. 
no problem. Yeah, I'll grab a torch too. Yeah. And just take it with us for now. Grab those torches off the wall. Yeah, sure, you can do that. Um, Willow, as you're moving down there, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Roll really high. <laughs> Roll really Roll like your life depends on it. Because it might hit that hit your cheeseburger again. There's like an 80% chance. There, you go. there we there go. go. There we go. 60 percent chance that the dice are in the car. And look again. 15. So don't leave the car again. Okay. You're walking down, you don't notice anything about the hallway. Doesn't seem like you see any like those trip wires that Copic tripped over and had a bunch of stones fall on his head. Oh, that's great. Not do that. You don't see anything like that down this hallway. You're just, you're able to walk down and you're standing there. There's a door right ahead of you and a door to your right. Um, I'm going to put my ear up against the one on the right. Okay. Make an additional perception check then. <laughs> Nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. mm-hmm. You hear nothing. We'll listen to the other one, too. Okay, sure. Much better. Over 20. Over 20? Yeah. 20. 24. You hear a sound similar to that of the torches that they picked off of the wall. Sounds like crackling fire. Oh, no. Where do we want to go? Where's your... Oh, yeah. Your gem. Can we keep using you as a dowsing device? (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I'm going to check. Um, okay. my necklace against both the doors. It's illuminating right from where you're standing. It's, it doesn't really change between yeah. two doors okay. because you're so close close to the two. Mm-hmm. But it is the, the farther you got down this hallway, the brighter, the brighter it got, the more of, you can feel it. It's vibrating a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and open this door on the right, but I'm not going to go in yet. Let's go okay. look. Oh. You open the door, it opens up, and it goes in about mm-hmm. five feet, and then goes left. And it seems like there's a hallway that goes that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go check that one, too. Check that I'm one, too. I'm opening all the doors. Okay. Um, you open that door, and you immediately hear... Oh, God. Grab her. And I'm this de- green cloud of smoke. Oh. I'm literally the minute I hear the noise. Are you right next to her? I'm right yeah, behind her, exactly. my hand in her yeah. car. I'm throwing her backwards <laughs> over my shoulder. All right. Just throwing her. <laughs> Just, Willow and Copper, I need you guys like to make this? constitution saving no. throws for me as you guys are engulfed by a green, door. yellow green poisonous gas. Don't forget to try a little green <laughs> <No. laughs> Or doesn't save saving for this one. Oh, it's under saves. Yeah. yeah. Plus two. Wait. Uh, Guidance and applicable. Uh, oh, uh, you're way in the back. Oh, that's yeah. on our Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, Let me double check. Oh, he's, he's grinning. He's grinning. I don't like it. Gonna be on the bubble. <laughs> Twenty-four. Oh, you're good. Twenty-four. You're made of cups. Yeah, I'm not such a save. Turtle. DC 14. Oh no! Okay, you just missed it. Okay, so you're gonna take 11 points of poison damage, yep. Ouch. and you're now considered poisoned for the next minute. Ew. Uh-oh. Okay. Would you roll? 24. 24. You take half of that, okay. and you are not poisoned. So you take five so, points of poison uh, damage. Would you like to be healed? You're not. Let's see, poisoned. wait. Do I have anything here prepared? I don't feel so good. Uh, yep. poisons. poisons. It's gonna be rough. Poison okay? is disadvantage okay. on attack rolls and ability checks. No! Here's your, here's your, <laughs> oh, and you took damage. Uh, oh, so you no. have to make a concentration oh, check. Oh no, I'm not using this one. <laughs> uh, half the damage would be a 10. So it would be a constitution saving throw as this you're one? trying to concentrate it, on that. You've got some extra, we've got some promo die if you want to burn yeah. one. Yeah, you got promo <laughs> 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 Got a 15. 15 saves. You can hold the concentration in the midst of all that. (laughs) Also, both of you hear simultaneously what sounds like... Oh, God. From the other side of the door that she just opened, which you can see inside. And I'm going to show you guys what you see. And now, is this the one with the hallway? Or is this just the one one going straight ahead? I should have just poisoned her. 
do you have? You guys can, oh, if you want to slide that. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. The door, the door is the door that she opened. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, is that an automaton? <laughs> <laughs> Did you like make a... us a Machina? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can go ahead and place your minis where you would have been in correlation but to all this. How far? Of... Oh, you were just going to... Okay. Yeah, that connects right to that. So, so, so stuff on top. Yeah, like if you want to... Yeah. Uh, you think much better than I do. Brains. I ain't got none of those. <laughs> so how far back would I have been able to throw Willow? Uh, honestly, this I'm happened balanced. like so fast. You probably just have Willow in your grasp, so she's probably right in front of you, right at the doorway. You can open that that doorway on the far hallway. There's where you open. <laughs> <I quit>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna stick my right. Now hand. you would probably be right behind her. Where would the re- would the rest of you have moved up? Yeah, I would have been in the right hallway in the back. as yeah. they were exploring. Yeah. Marlon and I would be in the back. Her squishy, funky selves. Wait, will you be in, in the, the backpack? Back? Yeah. Okay. I'd be back and then these guys somewhere in there. Okay. Bailey would probably be right next to Obu. And what I'd like all of you are to do is roll initiative. No! Because these things are animated. Of course they are. <laughs> I didn't get a grasp it from the last thing, but are Bailey and I in love? Natural 20? You're in love. Minus one, 19. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude! Did you get one too? What is that? Okay, Wait, what is a pop? You got minus nine. one, too? No, I got a plus uh, two. Say. Okay, so one minute. Oh, guys. I got a nat 20. I just That's to... three nat She's 20s? A... Yeah, wow. because a paw print is a 20, yeah. right? Nice. So... Look at that. You guys are rocking. What's your dex mod? My dex mod is something. It is. It is. Tw- it's two plus two. Okay, so that's... 22. Okay, oh, roll, roll to d20. See which one of us goes first. Alright, so that means don't well, let me make any decisions yeah. anymore because I'm the only one not yeah. lucky tonight. Where did the, where um, did the initiative thing go? I have it, but I have no people. Yeah, she oh, has the people. She has the peoples. Uh, quick uh, okay, so have... side note. I wrote down Ooh. that Marlon wrote, casted then three spells the last session. Sure. Then... But I don't know how <clears> many throat> spells throat> I have. Oh. Do you want me to just look up the four, is he fourth level? Marlon's fourth level. I'll look up the okay. table. Okay. Awesome. Thank and you. Well, you That's okay. Yeah. Catch that one. I just wanted to make sure he doesn't catch Willow. too many things. What is your nine? Okay, I nine. Sure. Then scratches Marlin and Bailey. Oh. Uh, Marlin's got a seven. Oh, we we do. Okay, so Marlin's got a seven. So um, you're going to need Willow. Um, um, scratches is going to have a six. Six. Will you turn that battle cam? Three, so nine. We'll just just take the um, full right tripod. Willow we'll we'll have just nine. Just turn it so it's that. Uh, maybe pull it back in between you and Charner a little bit. Bailey. Just like this um, one towards me. Michael, what does Bayleaf have? Uh, Bayleaf has uh, a seven. My Marlon twitch is a, seven is a lot too. slower. Yeah. <laughs> Three, Maybe if you four. just pull yeah. it back a little bit, we're going to turn it to the right just a little bit. I just got to figure out where they go. That's probably pretty good. Okay. Uh, they pre-rolled. I had these rolled from like two weeks ago. Uh, 21 and 9. Oh, okay. nope. oh, no one do you handed them to me so nicely because uh, I should rub off the numbers. Oh, I uh, just took you know. what spells. <laughs> Marlon, 21 to right after us. Nine, seven. Yeah, like two yeah. The scratch has got a... Nine, same as well. Nine. Yeah. Trying to figure out. He didn't use either yeah. of those. Yeah, okay, so they're all He didn't yeah. use shape of water. I think it was just witch bolt, maybe a shield. Shape of water. Yeah, yeah it was a witch bolt that was used. I remember that, yeah. I, I don't think down. he used shield. I don't think he used shield. I wrote down he used three spells, so maybe he used switchbolt three times. I don't know. Maybe. That's a lot. Cool. Is that good? Yeah. Right there. So, Obu, you're at the top? Apparently. Kill him uh, before they lay eggs. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they lay eggs in your brain. I want to go up to Willow, and I want to cast Enhance Ability. Um, and I want oh. to uh, do... Let's do... If you want to open that one, that move that door that's blocking the hallway right there. So, yeah, that, that way. Let's see. What would be best for you, uh, do you think? Bear's Endurance would give you constitution checks. It'd be give you advantage on constitution checks, and you'd get temporary hut points. Just pick one. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. She also <laughs> looks pretty messed up, I think. So, yeah, so the temporary hit points might be good. I'm gonna give you Bear's Endurance, Dang. and you're gonna get 2d6 temporary hit points. You're a little bear. 
This wow. is concentration for an hour, so I am concentrating. So you are concentrating as well. So here's yes. a concentration ring for you. Thank you. And we'll put uh, you'll put another ring on you <laughs> as, you're, as you're now. You're gonna have me see me anymore. <laughs> we already can't move you. <laughs> Uh, you also, so how do I do temporary? Oh, I see it. I think there's a section yep, next to it. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Is that a touch spell or does it have a range? Touch. So you have to get right up. So you ran up right next yep. to it. Okay. Perfect. And I believe that's an action. So you have a bonus action if you like. My bonus it. action is I'd like to change into a slithery, slithery snake. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And this is the actual size. Oh my yeah. God. I can barely oh, fit in the hallway, y'all. Constrictor snake. Yeah, you're like spewing into the room now. Oh, apparently. <laughs> nice. We get a little bit now, now I got a nice necklace. Aww. It's a lay. You went to Hawaii. Ooh. There you go. Great All time. Right. Thank I you. I think that's everything that you is, can that do. That is it. Copic, you're up. Okay. Topic's gonna cough up a little blood. Is he still pretty messed up after the last? Oh, that's no. true. Situation. Yeah, yeah he never took a break to. Yeah, we didn't break it all. Huh. I then, didn't know um... that. I forgot. I'm sorry. You guys have been rushing through. Yeah, Nobody's yeah, been yeah. taking a rest because yeah. because of yeah, because all those all people. <laughs> yeah, and actually, I am bloody well that. Okay. So. I can't heal you <laughs> as a snake. Okay, it's just, uh... Mm. Okay. You can put, okay. like, three rings on. Are you hula hooping? <laughs> Go on in the neck. Okay, Kopik is going to, uh, use his bonus action to activate the ability of his sword. Oh, Kopik, okay. you got something. I think it was still... Add your deficiency bonus. Oh, look at that, oh, Kopik. Hey. You can, uh, double up your proficiency bonus or add it to hey. something you're not proficient in. Thank you! Oh my gosh! Thank you, chat. That may, that may be very good. Uh, <laughs> So it, well, if it's still active, then I'll Maybe just leave it. bring that camera back a little bit Ooh. farther this way. There you go. <laughs> we'll try that. <laughs> That's better. Okay, good. That's good. That's right now. So then, uh... That camera oh yeah, nice. so it remains active until, uh... He's a bonus action, so or nice. until I... I would say it would still be remained active from the last time that you used it, right? Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to use your bonus action to do that. It's already ready to go. So then I'm just gonna... One, two... I get right up in front of this one here. Okay. I'm actually gonna twist around a little. Just okay. sort of put my back up against the pillar. Okay. To try to prevent the other one coming up behind me. Sure. And then just start uh, hacking at it. Two swings. Okay. Oh shoot! I gotta get out my my stuff for a, uh, for a snake. Let's see. The same time. Um... Okay. Uh, neither of those are really great. Let's take a look here. I guess I'm not showing first. Okay, so that is an 18 and a 16. Okay. It will hit. Okay. As you strike through these metallic automatons that stand before you. They have no features on their head, Copic. It's like just an orb that's shaped like not a perfect... It's like a mannequin's head. Ooh, made out of that. metal. And the one that you're currently standing in front of has... A round kind of midsection you see one arm has a massive hammer on it without a hand and the other hand has a massive blade on it mm. okay. both of them look similar like the one over there has more of a rectangular box shaped body okay. mm -hmm. maybe we can just close the door did we think about that <laughs> 15 points of oh, slashing nice. damage and six points of necrotic with the first attack Okay, so that was a total of um, 15 and 6, 21. 21. So you want it just all as one number? <laughs> yeah, you can give me all one number on this. The next one is 11, 14, 15, uh, 19 points. 19 points. Wow. Wow. Right. Wow. You just, you getting through it. That, after I'm going to die. It, yeah, you know, yeah, fast offensive is pretty good. 40 points of damage in one round as Kopik carves through with his greatsword. Uh, anything else you're doing, Kopik? Yeah. Trying to see how quickly <laughs> I can get to know. Uh, which one so, is up first? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, uh, the two. iron statue. 
Uh, I'm touching two. two. My apologies. Touchers. So that is not the one that is engaged with Kopic currently. Hooray! But Kopic is the closest to it. And these things not are, so much yay. These things are not intelligent. So it's going to move to the first threatening thing that it can see, which is going to be Kopic. And it's first going to make an attack with its hammer arm against Kopic. So this is going to be... This is exciting. Oh boy. Kristen's dice are rolling good for no. me. No! <laughs> I think we should switch them out. Like, I 23 to hit. Probably. Yeah, that'll hit. Ah. Even if I had my shield up, that would hit. Oh no. <laughs> so you're going to take... Is there another D here? 10 points of bludgeoning damage. And you are automatically knocked off your feet and prone in front of it. Uh, no, not 1,000. As it slams Kopic to the ground. Oh. So that means its second attack with its blade arm is made with advantage because you're knocked prone. Oh my god, guys. So it's going to attack with advantage. Oh no. Uh, that's one better, a 24 to hit. Yep. I rolled an 18 and a 19. Take okay. those dice. <laughs> <laughs> I think these dice are it, I should have stole the duck dice. Which way, is, <laughs> which way is the little ducky bill pointing? Is that the is that the 20? 10 points of slashing damage okay. on the ground. Still alive? It's still alive? Still alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's, Groaning a little bit. And that's all, uh, that's all that it does on its turn. Uh, Bring us to Silas. <laughs> You're a snake. You see nothing. <laughs> I'm behind a pillar. <laughs> so, Kopic, you are prone. Oh, so yeah, that's right. You're laying down in front oh! of you. Ah, my kidney! Silas, <laughs> you see Kopic is getting beat down in there. Can I get through? You can go through friendly spaces. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, they both went? Or just the one? Just the one. Just, just the red one? Yeah, just that one moved over and okay. slammed Kopic. I'm going to Jeez. do something brave. Wow. Brave. Ooh, Silas. Brave? What? Silas is going crazy. Character yeah. development? <laughs> I see that Kopic is on the ground, and I know that he always does dumb stuff and tends to get himself almost killed. <laughs> um, so I'm going to. Oh, I don't know if this is. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Woo! I don't have my streamlabs up, so I can't see what it Rush hour 8 by 88 Oh, Rush Hour, welcome. I think. Hey, Thanks for the follow. I, got my I think that's my friend so. Chris. Um, if you're Ramsey's friend Chris, hey Chris. <laughs> if you're not. If you're not. Hey, if you're not. Hi, anyway. Hey, hey, hey. This is Ramsey. Now you're friends. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> um, I'm going to take out my newly purchased crystal vial um, and oh. pull some of the water out of it and swirl it in my hand and launch out a spell on the other side of the room and then I'm going to summon an air elemental between the two. Right. Please, thank you so much. <laughs> I was going to do something else, but I knew it wouldn't work. So. Air Elemental springs into existence. Oh my you know what that looks like? It uh, looks like the, the, the tornado thing from Hercules. Yep. Zeus. <laughs> Can I just put it there? On, like, yeah, yeah. Move yeah. the treasure chest. Yeah, honestly, it would yeah. probably fling the treasure chest okay. as it's uh, uh, swirling does vortex. It, does it break open on the wall? Uh, it does not, <laughs> actually. It's pretty solid. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> we don't need it, <laughs> The air elemental. Don't turn it. Um, important there. That number means something. It says it goes directly after me. So yeah. would it be able to go the yeah, next turn? Okay. Yeah, go like turn. With this um, one instead. We're done with that one. Did, did they mean? Did they mean things? I don't know. They might. So that's my fault. <laughs> and then and it's got all symbols and stuff. Totally I'm gonna cool. enchant some magic stones in my hand too, just real quick. For and those, that'll be, okay. That'll be the end of my turn. But then your arrow on the And then it's my arrow. Yep. So he's going to and make a deck. multi slam yeah. attack. It's two attacks. I'm going to do against the other uh, one, the one, the, the one that he attacked. Yeah. Previously. So yeah, this one has like slash marks all through it. His copics now being like impaled <laughs> on the ground in front of you by this other spell attack modifier dun, 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 dun. to hit. So my modifier to hit. Is that the right song? Sorry. <laughs> This is my first time doing this one. You're good. How do you do that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell we've all missed this. Yeah. <laughs> you can make it. Oh, I have plus five to hit for my spell. Like this. So Perfect. Yeah, so both attacks. these are plus five. Uh, 
Uh, I got a 14 <laughs> and a 15. Those at home, my father taught me that. We used to talk to doves on the back platform. Unfortunately, so both good. of those are going to miss. Yeah. No. So these things are so sturdy. They have, I mean, they're... It's, it's strange. They're really robotic and they have this rotund upper body and then they get really skinny around the waist and as they go down the lower part of their legs, kind of like a transformer, they get really thick at the bottom of their legs so they, so they stand their ground and the wind is just not able to, to do anything to them. Okay. Um, it's got some back. It, 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 uh, all I can do, right? I That's all I can do. Hear that. All right. So, cool. <laughs> uh, Willow is up with scratches on deck. <laughs> I think we play our characters perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I use my staff of healing? Is that concentration or? It depends on what kind of what spell you're casting out of it. Mask your wounds. Mask your wounds is not a concentration spell, Just so yeah, you can cast that. Yeah. All right, that's how many people was it trying to? Six people within thirty feet. But I can choose which six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I need it. You need it. How's everyone else looking? Am I allowed to ask that? I'm a snakey snake. We're we're pretty chill over here. Yeah. I, I can't remember um, with scratches. The scratches and the scratches has a couple of cuts on. He can probably he says some yeah. scratches. He's got some scratches. Got some scratches. Got some scratches. He's, scratches. Way, back. He's yeah. way back there. You oh, can't get. Did they didn't move up with us yet? No, no they haven't gone yet. Well, Maybe I should save that. No, I don't want to waste that when not everyone needs it. Um, we'll just do cure wounds instead. That's not concentration. Actually, right. it's not, but I believe cure wounds is touch, so you gotta be. I gotta move up, yeah. You have to move up to mm-hmm. touch whoever it is you're healing. Yeah, I can make it a copy. Yep, yeah. you'd be right beside that. 15, 20. Do you wanna be here? Can I, do I, am I able to go around the pillar? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm gonna do that. 25 or 30. 25. I'd be she'd diagonal. Be here. She'd be yeah. diagonal. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that'd times. actually be better because then she I wouldn't be in. Yeah, and you wouldn't yeah. be in as melee of yeah. that other one. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna move there and I'm gonna use Cure Wounds for you. That's a D8. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think it's a D8 plus your spell casting modifier, yeah. which I think is probably a plus five or it's whatever your plus a four plus five plus four plus four. Yeah. Six. <laughs> That's a D8. You rolled a D6. Oh, ha! Yep. Ha. Yeah, we rolled Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, even better, a ten. You have more than doubled my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need <laughs> What Your phone that? finds that hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Uh, Cure Wounds is an action. Yes. You still have a bonus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Shillelagh. Shillelagh. Okay. Shillelagh, Shillelagh up. Shillelagh. There you go. Perfect. Shillelagh. That's going to bring us to Scratches with one of the, the other automaton on deck. So oh, you guys okay. can share Scratches. You got his character uh, sheet. So can he see past the snake? He can. He can tell there's there's things going on. Uh, so yeah, anybody can move through an ally's space. Right, but can he see through it? So if he goes 5, 10, 15, comes up behind? Yeah, he can see. Okay. Uh, yeah, because he doesn't have enough movement unless he dashes to get all the way. Let me know uh, if I can help. Okay, Siri. Thanks, Siri. You can <laughs> help. I'm glad. Now leave. Oops. Looking at where he's at, he probably only has line of sight on that first, that middle automaton. That's yeah, coming. the one that was stabbing me? Yeah, the one that was, yeah. Stabbing you. This sounds like retribution. Let's go. That's not That's good. not great. Nope. But it should still hit if I'm right. Uh, 16? 16 just hits. Okay. This has a D6. Put you back under there. Uh, we'll go green little dragon. Are these in the dark? Yes. <gasps> see, I say little dragon and I roll a five. <laughs> that is eight piercing damage. Uh, has an ally within five feet. Oh, thank you. Sneak you can attack. Add sneak attack as well. So, where is sneak attack damage? He's cheating. Uh, 3d6. You're not supposed to cheat at D&D. <laughs> no, we just talk about our wonderful swatches of the dragon. <laughs> there you go, all six as much. Nope. Six. I would just six total? Yeah. What was, the, what was the total from the other one? Eight. Was it eight? Eight plus six, so 14. 14 points of damage. Got it. So, yeah, now there's an arrow sticking out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's like a little door stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Is that in Scratch's turn? Yep. All right. That brings us to like the automaton that. that didn't get to do anything yet. Uh, it has two 
creatures within its range. Yeah. So I'm going to make a roll. One, two, or three. It's going to attack the air elemental. Four, five, right. or six. It goes for Copic. That's a four. Oh, Copic. So I can take those dog dogs away from <laughs> <laughs> The first attack is a hammer, and since Copic is still prone, he makes it with advantage. That is going to be... Oh, I rolled very poorly that time. Yes. 15 to hit? Nope. Misses. So you Ooh. roll out of the way as the hammer slams onto the ground. Then the blade comes at you with advantage. That was slightly better. Uh, that's a 20. That'll hit. That does hit. So the blade is going to do... I need to put you in full play. I rolled very poorly. Full play gives me a 19. Seven huh. points of slashing. Okay. Still up? Yep. Uh, thank uh, yeah, they thanks to Willow. Well. Thanks to Willow. <laughs> Going to use that staff again momentarily. That's all it does. Yeah, Marland so with Bayleaf on deck. I already wrote it down. Oh, thank you. I wrote it on the paper. Marlin's up. Marlin's up. Yep. Sorry, I didn't hear you. You're right. Uh, Marlin's gonna be like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Five, ten, Mr. Wizard, get me out of here! Yeah, he's like, I'm not enjoying this. Um, and he's gonna go ahead. How tall are the ceilings in here? <laughs> what now? Okay. Um, average ceiling height, That's ten feet. Ten feet. Sounds fair. I don't want to put Copic at a disadvantage if I. Enlarge him? Will he be too tall? I would assume so. He's already like seven. He's seven or eight feet tall now. He would probably, yeah, it would probably be too small of a space to do enlarge in here. Okay. Um, we're just gonna do another super cool uh, witch bolt. Okay. We're gonna do witch bolt at second level this time. Ooh. Let me pull up my witch bolt. Okay. So I'm tracking. Or actually, there it is. Plus five to hit. Plus five. Marlin shoots lightning from his palms. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Yeah, there we go. But I'll save you from having to roll damage. What as lightning do? wraps all around this creature, it's not gonna do anything. doesn't seem to do anything oh. at all. It's just all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? That's, that's lightning damage, right? It's yeah. immune to lightning damage. You did this on purpose. <laughs> it's in the yeah. adventure, I promise. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, um, he's gonna deck. Uh oh. And, uh, <laughs> take one more movement behind this pillar Can I here. Get some cover? Yeah. Sounds good. Perfect. And he's gonna look over his house. Like, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would he would share that, definitely. Bayleaf is going to get into range. Coming into the room or behind the snake? You look pretty bad, don't you? Yeah, Copic's basically... Copic's conscious but bleeding out. He has 30 feet of movement. Which so puts him right inside the room. Right inside the room. He's going to look at you and use his last first level spell slot. He's almost tempted to wait to be fall unconscious though. So then, well, you don't make death saving. Well, he wouldn't know that. Uh, he'll just do healing word on you. Thanks, baby. You get six points Ooh. of healing back. Uh, that's his bonus action. That's his uh, nope. Um, and then he <laughs> he doesn't have much that he can do, but he's gonna viciously mock that one. You're in so much trouble. <laughs> Don't look at robot. <laughs> I need to play more. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, where's your face? <laughs> the robot, uh, the robot uh, fails at saving throw. Oh my god! And takes two points of psychic damage. <laughs> and has disadvantage on its next attack. Nice psychic robot. Okay, stand up. I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, so that's all Bayleaf can do, bringing us to Obu. The giant constrictor. Snake. Someone can do something. Obu's getting in there, and Obu's just gonna constrict because <laughs> she's th that's she's a snake. Which that's one what she can do? Or where um, do you want to go? Which one do I have the There's most prejudice against? You probably can <laughs> only get that one. That's right on. yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. You can do. Well, I'm gonna just 
slither all the way in The pillars here. are cracking. <laughs> Chunks of ceiling are falling on poor Coppic lying on the ground with a sword in his kidney. And I'm going to Shield constrict him. Shield. So I'm going to do... Okay, uh, yeah. okay. I'm going to constrict him. Yeah. You make your attack roll. Uh, 18. That's going to hit. Okay, it's and then uh, 2d8 Dice plus JR. Dice JR. Is that an 8? 2d8 plus Get out when you're good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Seven points of damage. Okay. Seven damage? Yeah, okay. Seven. We're going to die anyway. <laughs> we might die. Uh, and the, this is a problem. These things have like 100 health And the target is grappled. And you're grappled. He's grappled. Uh, and the creature is restrained. Grappled and restrained. Okay. That's yeah. that's big. Restrained is big. Here, uh, Here's a restrained thing you can put on that. Uh, that's on the top there. If we can fit that in there. <laughs> it doesn't so even go on it. Just wearing, wearing like a necklace. Go over here a little bit this way. Thank you. Okay. Is that in your turn, Abu? Uh, As you have this thing wrapped up and you're crushing it. In your I'm going to... slithery snake like body. I'm going to hit. It's one eye. It's one. You're gonna hiss. If it had metallic eyes, they'd be like. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hiss. You're gonna hiss? I'm gonna hiss at him. You guys hear the hiss echo down the hall. <laughs> Copic, you're up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Chambers, yeah. You're up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, literally, Copic is going to stand himself back up. Okay. We're just looking at him to rush off a little bit. And then seeing one get grabbed by the snake, just go start hacking on the other one again. You got it. But um, I'm gonna circle around it, though. Yes. And try to flank. Uh, actually, from where I am, would I be I flanking so. with the? I, right? I don't yeah. think I'd be flanking. I think I'd have to spin around. That's true. Right? You'd have to spin around. It is the other one in. Even though the other one is grappled by the snake, it's still in melee. It's attack. still in melee. And it can still technically make an attack against you, but it has double disadvantage now <laughs> because <laughs> it it has the 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 vicious mockery and being restrained. <laughs> Right. So are you going to move out of it? Yeah, I'm going to move out of it. It's going to go ahead and make an attack at you with its blade arm at disadvantage. As it reaches out from the snake. Double disadvantage. <laughs> Natural one. Yes! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> and then Copper's going to start hacking at this one again, because the other one doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment. Does that mean it hits its friend because it's natural one? <laughs> <laughs> Some DMs do that and have a critical fumble. I, I don't usually do it. Unless Merciful it's not! I had one of my players shoot another one in the back of the head with an arrow. I have another DM that every time me. you roll a natural one on attack, he makes you roll like a D6 and attack one of the other people yeah, standing around you. Yeah. <laughs> I shot our time. friend in the back. I would do that once in a great while and only if it makes sense. Like, oh, I'm going to shoot an arrow at the guy between us and I miss. Yeah. There's a chance that one, yeah, happened. you're going to hit him. Huh. He didn't like me after that. Okay. It's okay, we didn't like him so. anyways. Mm-hmm. First one was a... 22 to hit. Yeah, definitely yeah. arm into him with that. Oh yeah, and the other one is a 30-20. Oh yeah. 30-20! Hey! We got him. Okay, so that is... As you 40. continue to gouge into this thing, trying to open it like a tin hmm. can. Grab that, so before, before it can come back after me. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, 19 points on the first attack. 19. Wow, man. 19 points on the second attack. 19 on the Jeez. second. Okay. 2d6 plus 4 slashing and 2d6 necrotic when it's active. Solid. Kind of like cutting through an aluminum can with a sharp steak knife. You see these massive slits through this thing. It looks pretty bad. Good. Sweet. Woo! <laughs> Is that in your turn, Kovic? Yep. Okay, that brings well, actually, us to... I mean, is it a free action to stow or pull out a weapon or shield? Oh, wow. Okay. And Copic's gonna basically just swap and, like, set the sword, like, point down and pull the shield up. Shielden! Okay. It's been a long okay. time since we've seen Shielden. Does your... If you... If you technically put your sword away, does your... Does your special ability on it go away? I don't know if it. I don't know if it, it specifies in the in the magic weapon or not. You might want to just double check that and see if that's what you want to do. Uh, the automaton that's grappled goes next. 
Right. Um, I'm going to point out if I drop or she, so yeah, never mind. I'll do the... Uh... It's going to do the only two things that it knows how to do right now. Uh, it does have... Actually, it's going to do this. Don't. So, I heard it. Every creature... Well... Uh, you got it's going to go ahead and make two attacks against the Constrictor Snake. Hammer first with disadvantage because it is grappled. Okay. So the hammer is going to be... Uh, that's that's an eight. That's not going to hit you. And then the blade is going to come at you and rolls a... Does a 14 hit a Constrictor Snake? Yep. It does. It does indeed. Hit a so snake. you are going to take nine points of slashing damage. Yeah. And that is the end of its turn, bringing us to Silas with Willow on deck. I like that it doesn't try to get out of it. It doesn't know how. <laughs> uh, I'm no. disappointed that everything is resistant to lightning. Um, I'm going to just do a ray of frost at um, the one that's restrained in the snake. Okay, perfect. You have advantage on your attack roll. I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Wait, no. That was Bailey. I'm going to... Wait, can you, can you raise cantrip levels? No. No. Okay. It, damage increase. It yeah, should be. Damage increase. It should be two d eight. It is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, roll the hit. Come on, dice. You have advantage. I do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, no, Sixteen. Sixteen just hits. Yeah. Yeah. Two d eight. That one's in jail. Eight plus nothing. Eight. Points Eight points of damage. Yep. All right, and its speed I think is reduced by ten. Its speed is reduced by ten. Mm-hmm. And then the arrow elemental will go. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna swing around behind you because I don't like looking at fixed air robots. Yep. Um, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> and then he's gonna make two more slam attacks uh, against the one that Kopic is fighting this time. Okay. Um, you're having these at advantage too because you're currently flanking. Flanking. Okay. He doesn't like looking at scary robots, but last session, he looked at that scary thing, That's scary. and you're like, eh. <laughs> Oh yeah. No, but this is, this is scary because I can't hurt it. He's like, my lightning doesn't work! <laughs> First attack, natural 20. Nice! Oh, there you go. Second attack, uh, 19 plus 5. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's sweet. That okay. definitely hits. So this is... Uh, Mark this in the books. This is the D-10 first time he's been four. overwhelmingly successful. Poor <laughs> <laughs> It's not him, it's the air elemental. Yeah, it's, that's oh, why. Oh, yeah. yeah, the air elemental. So, am that's I rolling, different. if it's a 1d10, am I rolling 2d10? 2d10. Yep. Okay. yep, for the next one. For the first attack is 11, 12, 15. 15. Points on the first one. And then, one die. Uh, 10 points on the second one. Yes! Bludging, bludging damage. Bludging damage. <laughs> this thing does not look good. The Sweet. air the, from the air elemental is pulling and ripping at those <laughs> cuts <laughs> that Kopic has cut through it. And it's just ripping sure. these metal. Hopefully nobody gets caught in metal that's flying around the room. Because oh, <laughs> that'd be bad. But yeah, uh, it's still up. Okay. It looks like it, it, at any moment this thing could fall apart. Yeah. You can stay there. Stay put? Yeah, okay. Willow, you're up with scratches on deck. Alright, um, I can use cantrips, right? You can. Okay, just checking. I'm gonna use frostbite at the one that's not restrained. And okay. That's a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to double check this really quick. He's got. We might be going off the camera just a little bit. Um, 21 on the save. Ew. I think cantrips, if they say it, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. It hasn't shown me yet. Yep. Boo. (laughs) Alright. That's all I got. So you got it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's my Yeah. Yeah, that was my action. Mine's going fast. Yeah, no, I was watching. Mine's a lot of lag. That's pretty good right there. Yeah. I'm also on Wi-Fi guest, so I don't know if that makes a difference. No. Mine just no, now moved again. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. good. Nice. That'll work. Okay. Anything else you want to do, or? 
That's all you got? That's all I got. Okay. It's really that. Okay, that's perfect. Whatever change. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, um, that brings us to Scratches with the other automaton on deck. Okay, Scratches still waits back. Yep. He still can't get close enough to really do anything without dashing. Wait, can he, uh, he can dash? Because he's a tax, he's huh. so he can dash as long so as he doesn't make him He can way. still do another, he can still shoot, he can short bow at that one that scrappled. Yeah, but he can also dash as a bonus action using cunning action. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. And that way he can use his um his rapier. His rapier. Uh-huh. Roll the rapier to hit. Yes. Uh, we're going after Grapto to have advantage, huh? Yeah, you yep. have advantage. I don't have another guy on the Advantage top. and sneak okay. attack. Well 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 that's not happening. Uh that's a fifteen. 15's gonna miss. Wait, 1 plus 6. Yeah, that's a 15. Yeah. Dang it. Unfortunately, he tries to. The, the snake shifts just the slightest bit and makes it so that he can't quite get a beat on him. It goes ping off one of my scales. Yep. Bing! Bing! <laughs> <laughs> Anything else Scratches would do, or is that his turn? Well, that's it. Okay. That brings us to that other. The one that's not grappled, the one that looks like it's falling apart, he gets to go next. <laughs> He's got, what does he have around him? The air elemental? Uh, the air elemental and copic are the ones that are sort of on either side of him still. Okay, let's do one, two, three for the air elemental. Air elemental's getting the attacks. Right. Oh, it's getting hit? Okay. Yep, it's going to make a hammer attack at the air elemental. Oh, no. Uh, the hammer attack. Oh, gosh. I don't like that. The hammer was an eight. It's a mess. The blade was a nine. It's a mess. <laughs> He just goes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. No yeah. No, another attack hits and it stays put. Sweet. That oh, brings us to Marlin and Bayleaf. Marlin can go first. Oh, Marlin. I'm sorry. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, Marlin, go. You can yeah, do it, Marlin. Marlin. Two characters, who dis? Yeah. <laughs> Three now. Um, all right. So he's scared about all this crazy not shock stuff working so he's gonna do um, I put all myself yeah down. please get your stuff out of the way <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he's gonna throw a spear he's got a, a spear he's gonna throw a spear okay he's gonna toss it at the one that's grappled uh yeah advantage I don't know if he's proficient I guess it was We're just going he in. has it so I'm assuming okay. he's going to plus one to hit 14. Uh, it no. clamors into the corner of the room. <laughs> he looks over his eyes, he's like, I'm not good at this! <laughs> uh, and that's all he's got. He's gonna just chill there. I don't know how okay. people can't understand that we're down here, because they've gotta be hearing this. We're, cling- we're clinging swords off of metal, Bayleaf. and there's a giant hissing snake. <laughs> Bayleaf is just gonna go ahead and take a short bow shot at that one that's grappled. With advantage. It's gonna hit, and it does one d six. Can get you a trash uh, Plus two, five points of damage to the one that's grappling, yeah. and just kind of holds steady right there. Bring us to the top of the round with Obu. Hi, Obu is gonna bite the one that she's grappling. Okay. Specifically, bite it. I could. I thought you were gonna bite scratches, but uh, you know, you know, <laughs> just gotta that's have some clarification up in there. Uh, so it is six to hit, and since is it is it with advantage because I'm grappling? Oh yeah. Okay, that's pretty nifty. That's how constrictor snakes eat. Well, you you, you know, know you can shoot true. first and then you munch. Then you munch. <laughs> just, then you munch. Oh well, that's, Ooh, that's a nice. sixteen. It's a twenty-two. Yes. Okay, good. So that's gonna be two d six plus. Wait, yeah, two d six plus four. Ooh, Ooh, nice. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 points Three of damage. Points. Nice. And that's you piercing. Piercing. Just yep. if that matters. Is there something else it has to do? Uh, well, constrictors aren't poisonous, uh, are they? No, they are not. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, so you're watching the snake now squeezing around this automaton. It's now got its head engulfed and is trying to swallow it. I would like to say, <laughs> if I manage to kill this thing or actually successfully do it, I want everyone to know that my teeth are as strong as steel. Yes. 
<laughs> Very good dental plan. Hmm. Oh. Copy, I believe that brings us up to you. If yeah, yeah. The Copic. snake's just busy trying to eat and devour. <laughs> yeah, Copic's not just sort of ignoring that. Pretending he doesn't see it. He's like, oh. <laughs> Certain things you don't want to see. And this is going to try hacking at this one in front of him again. Okay. Attack. Okay, that's a uh, 23 or 25 to hit. Oh, yeah. Something like that. That's going to hit. Okay. <laughs> That's gotta be one of mine. <laughs> no, it might be mine. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is 11, 12, and 4, so 16 points of slashing damage. You carve the top off of the bottom of this yes. thing. <laughs> and it just clambers what? down to the ground. The top off the bottom, right through the right through the waist. Okay, now I understand. Like, <laughs> cut it now. What now? <laughs> How and you carve this was the, the, twine, you know, this was the one that was more oval shape, and out of it, you see what looks to be some type of elaborately decorated scroll tube. What? And it smacks onto the ground and breaks. What? And this goes rolling across the floor. Oh. Is it just That's a so cool. is it just a scroll? I don't By know. itself, it's not a tube know. or anything. It looks exactly well. The, well, tube, just, the tube breaks into yeah. pieces, and then that rolls out. I'm just hoping that the wind doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in a room, so it'll just. And you guys can take bunch. that one off the off the map. It's gone, and you so still have a second attack. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so Cobb's gonna run up towards the uh, restrained one. Can... And I saw this thing fall out of the midsection, right? Yeah, everybody did. Everybody that's within the range of watching Copic hack it in half, you guys you guys all see it. It came from like the torso of this creature. Or this automaton. Can I see any I know the constrictor snake sort of barreling in on this one. Can I see any aspect of the uh, chest of this one? Since you took the attack action, you wouldn't be able to like use your turn to perceive. Well, it's no, all I'm just, happening like really fast. Right, I'm running and I want to attack, but I want to attack the center point. Okay, I yeah. just saw something fall out of the chest. Yeah. I want to try to punch a hole into the chest of this thing. Okay, make your attack. You have advantage because it's grappled. And he's come charging he's up. He's wearing a sword. snake hat. <laughs> sure, that looks great. I'm trying to sort up like this, like you're driving into the chest and then it looks and this is. I'll cut the head off the snake if you were to hack. <laughs> I hiss. <laughs> I hiss. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Nat 20. Nice. All the That's work like, it's like 8d6 oh, or something so like that. Uh, I was like, okay, I said I want to cut the head off a snake. Oh, wait, I rolled a nat 20. Great. Hmm. Great. <gasps> okay, so that's 10, 15, 16... Hmm? 26, 32, 35, uh, 39 points of damage. This thing's looking rough. And you're, you're carving through it. You, you drive your blade into its chest and you start like peeling it open as the snake is trying to devour its head. And there is something in its chest. You can't get a good look at it, but you see some kind of like sparkly glow coming from inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't I'm just gonna pull up and then look around to see who's near. See if the only person who's like in a spot that might be up is Willow. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you're small. Get the shiny. And point at the chest. <laughs> get the shiny. Get the shiny. How get the big shiny. is that gap in the chest? Get the shinies. <laughs> Perfect. Copic's turn is over. Is that number one or number two things? That's number this? two. So that, that one's still alive. Um, that was the one that's grappled and struggling. Mm -hmm. It's going to go ahead and just use its uh, its whirlwind attack. Oh. Because that requires a saving throw, not an attack roll. Everyone within ten feet of that no, 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 automaton. No, you're good. Yeah. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw as the upper torso begins to spin. 
Oh, no, no. And its arms just fly out to the side like this. Oh, no. And it does like a helicopter Wow, ain't that fun for That's you. That's going to be so Ow. fun. It's <laughs> going to gonna have a great time. So dexterity 13 save for everybody within 10 ha, feet. Just ha! I can just picture you as like... Hmm. Uh, were you rolling Sorry. for scratches too? Yes. Okay. What would, for the air elemental, it's just your dex modifier? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh. Scratches passes, Obu passes. Topic fails. Topic fails. Nineteen is yeah. a success. Yep. Yeah. So those oh, you, you said it, you said thirteen, right? Thirteen. 13. Okay. Yeah. 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 Those those who succeeded are going to take half damage. Okay. And not be pushed away. Okay. Those who fail Good. take all damage and are pushed back from it ten feet. Okay. So here is the damage. Nineteen points. Oh, you do. A bludgeoning damage. Oh no. Unconscious. Yep. Oh. But so, stable. So ten. So ten. It's fine. For half. Ten. Yeah, ten for half. What's fifty-one minus nineteen? Minus minus eight. Fifty-one minus eight. Forty-three. No, it's, I mean, no, it's, it's ten points of damage. 40. Half of nineteen. Round no, you round down. You got another round down. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and unfortunately, it cannot move. Is, is it 51 19? You said rounded down. Rounded down. So yeah. Nine. yeah, nine. Maybe nine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you have? 42? Add your what do you have? 52? Yeah, yeah, so it'd be 42. Yeah, 42. Yeah, oh, Copic, don't forget you add your, add your, your added probo. probo. Was that, what kind of save was yeah, that? Yeah, I already. It was a deck save. Didn't say it when it happened, so. He's down. You're down. He's down. Yeah, yeah. do it. It's, didn't say it, I forgot about it, so. Sarah, thank you for reminding him. Sorry you're trying to you're trying to help him, Sarah. We Wait, know you it are. The proficiency bonus roll, or are you about these no, days? I get to double my proficiency yeah. bonus. Yeah, on a, on a roll. Yeah, of your choice. Does that work for saves? Want to allow it? Yeah. <laughs> it's chat trying to help you. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll let chat help. Okay, uh, that creature just went Silas with Willow on deck. Um, okay, I'm gonna. He made Sarah sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna pay for it Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, shoot one of my rocks. One of my magical rock. rocks. Adam. Magical rocks. Yeah. I just pet him hiding behind the pillar. He never gets to use them. He always oh, no. like he always gets them ready, but he never throws them. So I'm glad to see him actually using them. Yeah. I want the little rocks to look like lobsters. Does it have advantage or not? Uh, it's over Quick question. Yeah. Is it lightning damage? No, these rocks are bludgeoning. Okay. They're just you, rocks. Would, you would know based on what Arlen told rocks. you that lightning won't yeah. do anything. No, these are just rocks. Okay. You got it. I'm just gonna throw a rock. You have advantage on your throw. Okay. Oh, uh. Does it hit? Oh, 20. Yeah. 20 okay. hits. Yep. Come on. D6. Oh, four points of damage. Four points? Dang, that didn't work very well. <laughs> Let's keep cover behind here, and then Arrow Mental is going to do two more attacks. Two more attacks with advantage. Yeah. Uh, a. Was it plus five to hit? I can't remember. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. So 20 on that one. 20 hits. And the second one. 21. 21. So it's hit. Yeah, I like this Arrow Mental a lot. <laughs> D10. It also helps that you got that snake there just holding it steady yeah. for everybody beating on it. <laughs> That's my job. Here I am. Steady and Ten. stalwart. Plus. Steadfast. Stalwart. 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage. <laughs> As the, yeah, the arrow is beating on it and Obu is pulling and it's starting to pull it apart. It is uh -huh. not dead yet, yeah. but it is close. I'm gonna keep the ping pong ball head as a trophy. <laughs> Carry it around. Kill it. Uh, Four well, eggs. You're up. Um, I'm gonna move over to Copic. I'm You're gonna good. heal him. If I use cure wounds, that's not concentration, right? That's right. I'm not using my staff this time. You got it. I'm yep. Do third level. Thanks. Cure wounds. Third level cure wounds. Yep. You better feel better. <laughs> yeah. you better feel better. I say we rest after this, 15, we barricade the door, 19. because... 19 Ooh. points. Copic is awake. Copic, eyes. Wake up. Shoot back open with Willow, <laughs> slapping you across the face. <laughs> it's a touch spell, so you can do it however you want. Smack! Smack! Smack. 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 Immediately, Copic goes unconscious again. <laughs> yeah. 
Cool. Uh, Willow, <laughs> bonus action, anything you want to do? Do you have anything for a bonus I don't action? Think I do. Okay. I don't have any bonus actions, right? You can turn into a snake. But I don't need to do that right now. Everybody needs to be a it's snake. Concentration. I want to look and see what's no, in that wild chest. Check the automaton no, looks very country. rough. It looks like the snake's about ready to get that last pull. Do it. I want to know what's inside. Yoink. Uh, <laughs> Yoink. It's Scratch's turn with Marlin on deck. Scratch is going to stab somebody. All right. Stab with advantage. Yeah, I remember back in the days when we just were at the Winking Shrimp. <laughs> Wink. Winking Shrimp. Wink. Yar. 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 16. Yar. 16 hits. Just hits. I don't think okay, Mike so. anticipated this being a pirate campaign. It's great. Uh, when I started, no. <laughs> <laughs> when we ran, oh, when we stole all the, oh, no, we stole stole all the maps and, left. <laughs> and then just ran. We ran away from our problems. We took them. Fight. Uh, 17 points of piercing damage. And as Scratches drives the rapier through the what's left of this automaton, Obu, you feel it let loose. <laughs> As you pull the head off of this thing, and the rest of the parts of the body seem to just scatter across the room. Sweet. Can big snakes roar? <laughs> With a head in your throat, probably this not. This is a magical world, so yeah, why not? <laughs> What, how, how, how's it going to sound? Opu roars with this metal head, like ping pong ball head. What exactly metal. does the roar sound like? <laughs> Please. You ever, um, I, I don't want no, you to no, describe no. it. No, I cannot. I want you to make the noise. I can't sound like metal. I cannot sound yeah. like skin. What? It's, it sounds like the kaiju from Pacific Rim. Okay, yeah, I don't no, think no, you can no, really no, no, reproduce that. I cannot that, do that. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Use your imaginations, people at home. <laughs> you guys are obviously out we need to get us Peter Cullen in here because <laughs> you guys are out of the little bit of rustling. Sweet. Copic's gonna roll to the side, reach out and grab that scroll that's laying on the ground next to him. Okay, perfect. Um, I want to go read? see what's in the. Yes. <laughs> Can I read this? <laughs> Probably not. I want to check out the other chest that had shiny stuff. Okay, yeah, you I approach. Go I'm gonna. I'm very anxious about that. While everybody's right. moving around, I'm gonna put the arrow mental at the door. It lasts for an hour. So I will go ahead and show you what you find in the chest. It's a bandana. Yes! <laughs> it's a new hat. A new hat. A big okay, okay. new hat. Okay, okay. This okay. is what? Whoa! In the uh, chest. All right, so it's, it's pretty. I'm gonna, I'm, we don't need this room anymore. That's what Willow holds up. Oh. Lift it up. Wait, is, that, something. Is, that, <laughs> is that what comes out of the chest chest or this the chest. treasure chest? Okay. The chest cavity of that. Oh. His chest and cavity, we still haven't opened this uh, one. We still haven't opened that. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> oh my god, do we have to find that real key? Guys, let's go. They're in, somewhere. in this room somewhere. Oh, somewhere in this room. <laughs> it's not just locked, it has four different locks. Oh, on each edge we have of to, this. We have to Captain Planet it. Glimmering. Everybody grab a lock. Bejeweled. We're gonna grab my friendship. Thing and hold it on. Your gem uh-huh. is glowing immensely. And the vibration it's is yeah. almost yeah. so intense it. that it's like, <laughs> like you guys can yeah. hear the gem humming. I can I, I found it. can I inspect it and see if it's any possibility to break one of the locks? Ow. Um, go ahead, make a. How are you inspecting it? Like just the, it, it's uh, just like see if you could see, muscle it. Yeah. See if see scratches if can help you. Just make an investigation check. See if okay. see if scratches can help you. Oh, Scratches, can you help me take a look at this and see if there's any way to get inside it besides, you know, the conventional way of using a key? We oui. Does he speak Agui? snake? Okay. Uh, oh, hit, oh, yeah. hit, 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 hit. <laughs> by the way. What does this creature say to me? I switch into, <laughs> <laughs> I switch into a, a person. Okay, you're Unless back to you Obu? Think, okay. That, uh, that's, uh, Mark, your second, that's your second yep. wild shape. So you're out of I'm wild shape. wild shapes. Uh, so I got an 18 plus investigation, you said? Mm. Uh, 22. This, the locks look very well built. Mm. You also notice they look like they have arcane ruins carved. Mm. Car- car- mm. Hey guys, we ain't getting in this without a key. But do we, do we need what's inside of it or just need it? We can just go. Well, I want to look at the other stuff too. Yeah, can I, let's I wanna, uh, I open this chest other. real quick. I want to look at the chest. Okay. Look, Copic's like trying to read over there. Copic, do you want to? Oh, is Copic opening that? What the? This is mine. <laughs> it's actually in common, I think. 
You think? Can, can yeah. Comic read common? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Comic can actually comic read can this. Read. Yeah. It might be one or two languages, but hey, common's one of them. Actually, and what I did is I printed out copies for everybody. Oh, so nice. while he's reading it, you guys could also read it. It's like subtitles. Thank you. Subtitles. <laughs> yeah, subtitles. That's right. You now have subtitles. Continue. <laughs> and that scroll looks very old. Greatest time in the Moran history. After much celebration and great joy, a decision must be made. Regarding the Prime Stone, as far as Avis and breaking the tyranny that the dragons held over us, the Bridal Stones, which we cut from the Prime Stone and distributed among the greatest of our warriors. Or an asset that allowed us to harness the strength of the stone and lead us to freedom. Watch out, power is heavily on evil hearts, and the eyes of new enemies focus on the stone and hopes to exploit its magic. Jesus. Right, that something must be done to protect it from falling into the wrong hands. Despite knowing that something must be done, the Council of the Realms cannot come to a unanimous decision of its fate. In much deliberation, the conflict <gasps> determination was finally concluded after a vote of 64. The Grand Council of the Realms of Amor have determined that the stone must be locked away with no man, elf, dwarf, halfling, or otherwise can be tempted by its power. The Prime Stone will be secured within a box and magically steel with locks blessed by the power of the gods. Four magical keys will be four. Oh my god. Oh boy. Do you want Just to put something on it? No, it's put the Prime Stone. It. Well, it's no, the it's the Prime Stone. Pri that's the yeah, yeah, Prime Stone. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Copic has no clue what that means, but Matthew just figured it out. Uh, blessed by the power of the gods, four magical keys will be forged and trusted to the greatest of the realms so that, if necessary, the stone can be utilized for the good of all mankind to fight against evil once more. One key will be kept among the elves within the Guamana jungle of Folionde. One key will be held by the dwarves of Renan's Deep. One key will be entrusted to the halflings of Lorioni. The final key will be secured here in the Empire of Andor under the protection of man. Once secured, the box itself will be laid to rest in an undisclo undisclosed location that shall not be opened and that shall not be penned in this document for safety. May more grow and flourish in the wake of our hardship and our hopeless yada 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 the council of the rounds. We have the prime stone, guys. This is not this. Why? Oh no! We should have just put more protections on this thing. We don't. We don't. We're not. We're not qualified for this. Where is? Uh, this uh, isn't on my resume. Do we have to? Get this well, we just destroyed going? everything protecting it, so we have to take it with oh, us absolutely. now. Absolutely! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, <sighs> this is so much better. And you just read that out loud, so now scratches and Marland and oh shoot, and Bailey Bailey. all know. All know. Whoa! Well. Yeah. Okay. Pause right here for yeah. just a second. Willow. Yes. Down at the bottom, got yes. a list of names. I do. I do see that list of names. <laughs> You, and Copic reads all the names out. As Copic reads the last name Apple Blossom. Mm -hmm. Where is that? That's the last one on the left side. My brain! Time, <laughs> time for you stands perfectly still. You stand there motionless. Your mouth opens just the slightest bit and your eyes remain wide open with a thousand mile stare directly towards the wall ahead of you. To everyone else in the room, you're daydreaming. But for you, Will Willow, your memory has finally been restored. Oh, boy. Apple Blossom, you say to yourself under your breath, I know that name. That name, it's my name. Fener. Fener Apple Blossom. I remember now. You remember it all. You remember running through the tops of large trees within the Dalswell Timberland with your brothers and sisters. Leaping from the end of a massive branch with absolutely no fear. Outstretched arms and eyes tightly closed, trusting that something or someone would catch you. At that moment, you feel the gust of wind and hear the large flap of wings as you land comfortably within a small leather saddle upon the back of a massive owl. This wasn't just any owl. This was one of the mystical owls of the ghostwise halflings of your culture, bred and raised to carry and obey a rider, a rider till death. Where's your owl? That was your owl. Its name was... What did we name the owl? <laughs> Personal. 
It's just I don't know. Cool. <laughs> Wait, name it Willow. Maybe you. Maybe we that's can, how you got I it. I love that. Willow. Yeah. Perfect. It's You're awesome. Thanks. For eight weeks. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a name. So your name is Veneer. Veneer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Honestly, we though, naming this. the aisle Willow is gonna mess up another part of this. Uh, oh. I'll change it. Willowia. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll pause that, and you can come up with a yeah. name. I just put dot 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 because you had said it and said yet. So yeah. <laughs> You, Julio, <laughs> you Wait, are Hulu. a night glider, a dwindling group of elite halflings that used to mount, uh, to use these as mounts to scout for danger, track herds, discover new resources, locate temporary camps, and be stealth assassins in the dark during combat. Gosh, Willow. I mean, Finier. You can. <laughs> we don't know any of this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this she's daydreaming. Willow. She's going, ooh, ooh tweet. You came <laughs> from a large family. And you can see each of their faces rush by you as your mind in your mind as you remember each of them, each of their personalities, each of their resemblances. You remember playing with several of them as a child within the tall yellow grasses of the Sasara grasslands. You remember the warm embrace of your mother, O'Leary, and her comforting smile. Then sudden loud eruptions interrupt your happy, peaceful memories, and your thoughts take a much darker turn. Explosions and large flashes of blue light through thick gray clouds overtake you. Your heart races, and you can feel the blood pumping with fear and adrenaline through your body. Your breaths are short and heavy as you run into the thick fog that hinders your sight, weaving between the temporary dwellings of animal hides and wood of your tribe. You run, but you see no one. All you can hear are screams of terror and panic in every direction. Abruptly, you skid to a halt among the darkened soil and you catch sight of the source of all the chaos. A massive silhouette jets through the fog in your direction and gains clarity as the creature lands about 50 feet in front of you. The motion of two giant reptilian flapping wings cause your breath to escape you as you're locked in eye contact with a massive blue dragon. <laughs> its eyes lit with a blue glow as lightning energy seems to dance and trickle along its neck. You have heard of this terrible dragon before, and the nomadic nature of your tribe, along with the work of the night gliders, has helped you to avoid her until now. This is Ravan, the sand goddess. She has made her home within the Ashan, Ash, Amshan, it should be, Amshan Desert near these parts for years and has begun a conquest to enlarge her territory. The dragon's deep voice billows out as she speaks to you. Everyone's in such a hurry. Tell me, child. There's a magic stone here among you. I very much desire it. Would you please show me where to find it? You're frozen, locked in place, as your mind races trying to determine your best course of action. Nothing seems to be adequate. There's just no escape. Crippled by fear and indecision, you remain in silence. Suddenly, you hear the blue dragon let out a loud roar of pain as it is engulfed with a blast of cold mist from above, and flying into view, you see a smaller dragon of shimmering silver scales flap into view and attempt to tackle the blue terror out from in front of you. You smile and say to yourself, Emriat. That was the dragon's name, as you remember his honorable loyalty to your father. Your father, ridden upon his back, his name was Rias, Apple Blossom, R-I-Y-A-S, Rias. And bursting through the fog, you see several other night gliders following suit upon the backs of their large owls. As the attention of the blue dragon is now focused on the attackers, you sprint to the right and and charge through the crowd, or through the fog. Placing two fingers on the edge of your mouth, you let out a loud whistle, which I cannot do. <laughs> imagine, I can't either. Imagine that you were yeah, in this room. Which is <laughs> <laughs> you charge up the side of a half 
torched by lightning tree and launch yourself into the air. You feel that familiar saddle and smooth feathers under you as your owl companion swoops you up into the cold, damp fog. You panic as you glide through the sky, searching for someone to help. It's difficult to see anything through the density of the fog, but you can see the blue flashes of light illuminate the sky with each lightning blast from the blue dragon. Coming into view out of the fog, you witness the finishing blow upon the silver dragon as the terrible blue dragon drags its razor-sharp claws through its flesh. Its scales unable to protect it against the power of this much larger foe. Your father shouts as he is jettisoned from the saddle of the silver dragon, and they both plummet towards the ground, disappearing in the fog below. Night gliders shout out in fear and anger as they continue to swarm the dragon like a pack of angry insects, pelting the dragon with arrows that only seem to reflect off its thick, scaly hide. You hear the dragon let out a billowing laugh that shakes every inch of your body, and you guide your owl mount, just thinking to yourself, dive, and you shout father as you descend abruptly towards the ground. Faster and faster, straight down into the fog. The owl's wings at its side as it continues to gain speed. The wind blasting through your hair, causing tears to well up and run from the corners of your eyes. As the ground quickly comes into view, the owl's wings jolt open, catch the air, and with a few massive slap flaps of its wings, it gently touches to the ground. There's lightning scorched ground all around you. And as you un... Dismount, you can see the bloodied form, motionless, of the silver dragon laying there before you. You run from your owl to the other side and you stop as you see your father lying upon the ground propped up against a large mound of soil. Slowly approaching, you see that he is still alive, but barely. He is struggling to breathe. You lean down next to him, tears filling your eyes as you're overwhelmed with sadness and heartbreak. He struggles to find the strength, but he begins to speak to you. Illyuri. She... She fled to the coast. She is safe. Seek. Venture. And that is where my love will always find you, Fenir. Protect the stone. go fly and he places his necklace into your hand and closes your fingers around it giving your hand one last firm squeeze and he lies back against the soil his hands fall to his sides and his final breath expires Crying as you go, you rush back to the owl and without hesitation take to the sky. You climb higher and higher. As you begin to fly away, the owl's wings flapping almost in harmony with your rapid heartbeat. Towards the coast, as fast as you can, gripping the purple geode in a tight fist near your heart. You continue to hear the large sound of massive dragon wings flapping behind you. But you focus ahead, and you fly as fast as you can, on and on, straight into the thick clouds. Minutes become hours. Hours become days. And exhaustion sets in for both you and your mount. Eventually, your eyes become thick and heavy. And then everything fades to black. You awaken upon a sailing ship called the Belfast. Unclear of how much time has passed, you quickly reach for your neck to discover the stone is safely upon it, hidden under your clothing. The trip is kind of hazy. You've had a headache most of that time. But you remember, a bearded human male took it upon himself to care for you during the trip, bringing you food and water as you continue to gain strength and rest within a small hammock. The man's name was Jarvis. And though you didn't learn too much about him as you were resting most of the trip, you know he was returning to Arendelle with an amsile to help his father as a leather worker. 
because you couldn't remember your name, he and the rest of the people aboard the ship began to refer to you as Willow. And you adopted that name. Arriving at the port alongside Westbridge Fife, you were leaving the ship. An old human male in dark robes and matted, dreadlocky gray hair approached you and tried to offer you an adventurer's kit <laughs> for a large sum of money. <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't have the money. You, you got a couple golden coins from Jarvis uh, and things like that that gave you an equipment that you had. But that individual, disappointed that you wouldn't purchase, got onto the Belfast and presumably left the area. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we finally have an idea <laughs> of where you're, this man is gone. But you have no idea. Not you, yet, uh, but I will. You say your goodbyes to Char Jarvis as he uh, begins boarding a caravan of horse-drawn wagons that are leaving to the northeast. And you made your way into Westbridge Fife where you stumbled upon a verbal conflict occurring within the town. A purple-haired elven woman aggressively shouting in the middle of town as a Goliath guard tries his best to talk her down and calm her down, while a turtle watched on in confusing interest. <laughs> <laughs> this is our party, summed up. Yep, it is. And that's where you began. Hmm. You lost your owl. His name is Rowan. Rowan. Yes. All right. Rowan is the name of the owl. Yes. Yeah. All right. Got it on my on my list here. It's Our Twitch chat is discussing how you make everybody cry. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Twitch chat. Make a player's cry on camera, you know. It's <laughs> Story time with Mike. My parents don't remember me. I cried the other day. Or well, currently on Fridays, my parents don't remember me. I thought she meant in real life. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just on Fridays, your parents don't remember you. <laughs> on Friday, who is on my house? <laughs> So, this crazy kid in here? Willow, the camera kind of pans away yeah. from your stunned face as you guys are left within this this chamber. Ooh, as you guys are standing around, the one thing that you notice is <laughs> the entirety of this room seems to have some kind of coating around it. Everybody can make nature checks if they'd like. There is some of it kind of corroding and like peeling away from the walls and revealing some stone that's behind. 23. Ooh, nice. 19. 19? That's 13. good too. 13? 13. You might need some. <laughs> it's really sad that the nature druid it. Right. Like, doesn't get. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. There are nature. skills. There we go. Nature. How do, I not have, how do I not have proficiency in nature? I would say you, you guys probably all, as you're looking at it, this room is coated in lead. Oh, anti magical lead. Yeah, Part of the corner wall looks like his. Some of the lead is like it's been corroded and peeling away, and some of the stones sh showing underneath. It looks like even the ceiling. Somebody actually like coated. This room is like it's like safe. It's like a sealed box. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe these guys weren't bad after all, and they were actually protecting something decent, and we just messed everything up. I think a cult moved in. Oh, afterwards. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think maybe the things that were stopping them, or stopping us, were stopping them as well from getting further back in here? We'll figure that out later. Some, somebody was opening the chest? Yeah. Yeah, it was Obu and... You guys can write this down. You find... Willow. Obu, Willow. Uh, okay. No, Willow got the, uh, Obu and... the chest. chest. Obu and I got somebody. Chest. Okay. Yeah. You guys find 480 gold pieces. And... 1,200 silver pieces. Topic reading, so he's got no idea what's going on. surprisingly is, a, is not a lot of money for something like this. But Maybe maybe a long time ago. How much copper? Uh, no oh. copper, just 480 gold and 1,200 silver. There's another 1,000 gold pieces in various gems and jewelry within the chest as well. There are also five bolts of what seems to be like a nice rare silk. It seemed to be, you probably think you could catch about 100 gold pieces each for those. Obu wants to go after the cloth, because she loves cloth. <laughs> she loves her, her cloth, yeah. There are two potions of healing that you guys recognize. You guys have seen them before, so I'm just going to give you guys that. 
there is a bit of shiny scale mail armor. It seems to be really light as you pick it up. Is Obu able to wear stuff like that? Or is, is Willow is able metal? to wear stuff like that? I, yeah, is it metal? Um, oh, oh mail, wait, I can I... What's it called? What's it's that made out of... A, it looks like scale mail, but it seems to be made out of some other material. Perceptive-looking. Mm -hmm. uh, make an arcana check. <laughs> My words do not work. <laughs> looking And there's also another fine green cloak that is pulled out. Do you say arcana? This is green. Yeah. 19. This is green. <laughs> <laughs> I just said this is green and I'll go. <laughs> Neat, nine, nine, 19. 19. 19. I'll it's, speak eventually. Uh, there are... It, it seems like there are magical properties about this. You don't know the specifics because... Or kind of just like let you know that there's magic. It mm -hmm. doesn't like you have to have identify or some means, or you can spend a short rest with it to find out exactly what it does. I'll spend a short rest with it because well, I, I don't know if we rest. have time to do that. It takes an Can hour. You, like bard, oh, I thought it was thirty minutes. Oh, short rest. Short rest no, is an, hour. an hour. Yeah. Oh, um. We've we got the to... element. Oh, we got a rat. Are we able to block off the? Uh, yeah, I'd say you guys have door. probably about thirty minutes left on that rat. Yeah. What, what is the rat? That was That's a, a monster oh, that we didn't kill. We should throw it in that other room and just book it. Well, we have to go back to that room. What about the other room that we opened up? So this is the poison room. What would the There's other two room? doors in here as well. Or there those are, there are no doors in here. Okay, just the way we came in. Yep, just the way you came. Yeah. So, so these in. would be this would be the door oh, from oh, the oh, hallway. Oh, that was this one. Right here. This one. Oh, we can put our fancy chest you got. The rat! It's in the chest already. Uh, my chest is Jeff Willow got. Oh, uh, we can't open it. Oh. She doesn't want to say. <laughs> Wait, you read it out loud, so you know what's in it. Wait, does do you know what is in it? Even <laughs> does he, does do he understand? Do you know what you read? <laughs> yeah, do you, do you comprehend what you read? Reading comprehension. Hey! hey. Ten! Oh, he gets Maybe. it. Maybe. <laughs> he comprehends. I, I okay. would say you get it. You understand. That, whatever's in that box is ex like of extreme importance. Okay, we also need okay. to deal with the I'm fact gonna... that Bayleaf and Marlin and everybody Insight knows. check, Bayleaf. Okay. Just look at him. What is he doing? I'm a stab Marlin. Yeah, insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm sorry, I have to see it's Kill reaction. Uh, insight. Uh, for 15. 15? Uh, Bayleaf, he doesn't seem to understand but is enthralled by the gems encrusted in that box. In, in, like, was it 100 gold worth the... of gems? Or 1,000 gold worth of gems? No, that actual box He's looking at one has yeah. that yeah. many like gemstones and diamonds like embedded Ooh. into it. Okay. Like, it is a very nice, yeah. elaborate yeah. looking box. <laughs> look over Distract him with the Bailey's other gems. Do like, you like shiny gems, Bailey? <laughs> I mean, of course, I like shiny gems. I mean, I'm in it for the money. <laughs> That's why we hired you. Let's, uh... <laughs> Obu silently is crying over on the side. <laughs> this chest has got about a thousand gold worth of gems. Let's pay half now and half when we get on the ship and get out of here. Sound good? Hey, that's, that sounds great. Okay. I'm just, I'll just, I'm just gonna let you guys know I'm almost tapped. Like, my energy is... Oh, yeah, we're all super tired. We need to get out of I'm, here. I'm almost dead, so... <laughs> Can we... Yeah, you look pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. Do we need to heal up real quick, or... I guess... I don't wanna... Do we want to even bother looking in that other door? It might be a way out. It might be. It might be another set of monsters. We could sneak around there, though, and look yeah. at it. We need to be careful what we do next, because... Don't go first much as you like to. Um, you want me to sneak over there and check what's in that other door? Yeah, let's do that really quickly while Willow's in our coma. Are, are you okay, Willow? Huh? You good? Huh? You good? You're holding on to that box really tight. I can see white knuckles. Tiny, tiny white knuckles. The knuckles They're of like, a halfling. This big! This big! <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Okay. You're like buzzing over there. Like, are you nervous? <laughs> I thought you were talking about my neck. Yeah. Like... All right. Uh, put I think I'm put the thing okay. in your. Put the, is she able to put that in her bag of holding? 
You guys have the other one in there, I believe. Mm -hmm. The one that you got from uh, the Jade the Feather. Gem. Okay. Yeah, Copper Gordon, no, never mind. Is she able to put the whole chest in there, though? Yeah, chest will oh. fit. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Chest is exactly that size. That's about oh. the scale. Sweet. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, uh, let's so we have to, away. in other words, you're saying we have to cut Kristen in half so it's scaled down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stow that away. And uh, yeah, let's go check out that other room. Uh, anything else in the room worth looking at besides the lead in the line? Mm, let me double check. I don't think so. Okay. I start trying to put the box away, but I'm moving very slow. Very <laughs> I'm having issues. Uh, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Yeah, so looking around the room better. with all those things that you picked up, that's all you see. Other than okay. the two, uh, what are now just piles of metal lying over there in the corner. From those was there automatons. anything making them run, or is it just like gears and steam? Um, and like investigate. Right? Yeah, make an investigation check. Not like that. Would y'all be okay if I spent some time scrolling. with the uh, with the scale mail later on? Yeah. Okay. Plus, uh, twenty one. I don't want to. They I don't want to just take. They were it. not I make sure everybody run by anything cool. mechanical. Okay. Some kind of spell was put on them. You think some kind of okay. possibly some kind of arcane magic was what was causing them to animate? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I was listening to intent. Which is probably here. dispelled and dead by now. Yeah. They. What. After you guys like hack them to pieces and carve them, like you would yeah. think, like the arcane ruins and stuff. As soon as they're defaced and things like that, these things don't okay. do anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Look, soul steel. <laughs> All right, go, go ch check out that room. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna move the air elemental to the end of the Hallway. stupid treasure room. Okay. The fake treasure okay. room. Sure. Um, yeah. By can the do door that. there. So it moves that way. You can just kind of put it over there for right now. So can can I insight check Marlin and Scratches to see what they're looking at? With this whole sure, yeah, go ahead and make an inside check. Yeah. Sorry, he's watching Marlon don't forget the others yet. <laughs> oh, she's looking at it. Uh, okay. Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Marlon and Scratches are your buds. They come at us, mm -hmm. I'm taking them down. They've been nice to you. You know, Marlon gave you a fishing rod that he carved. And... Oh, hey, maybe big. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself so I can do Sneaky better. Okay. Is that how that, that, how that works? You can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, well, that's not going to help anything now, is it? Uh, that is, that okay. is only a nine. Oh, no. This oh, ogre decides to sink the hall. <laughs> Are you, so you're going in that other door? Yeah. I, okay. I wanted to sneak this, try to see if anything was in there. When you open the door, the door is dark. Mm -hmm. And you do I notice. I have one of those ever torches. Okay, you yeah, shot a torch. Vision. It goes about 30 feet before it makes that left-hand turn that I was that I was describing before. And I, 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 I forgot to mention this, but there is a door directly in front mm -hmm. at the end of that hall. But then it goes this way and then you can't see anymore. So it's like 30 foot door hallway. Guys, there's another door in here. Uh, can I go up to the door and listen to it? Sure. Okay. What is that? Perception. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with today? Uh, perception. Thirteen. Thirteen. Math. You hear nothing. You rolled a seven or a six? I rolled a six, so that'd be oh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Alright, nothing? Nothing. Okay, nothing. I'm gonna judo chop the door and open it up. Okay, so you're gonna like No, I'm just gonna open it up. Gonna, <laughs> you open it up? Yeah. You open it up and there's this massive ballista sitting there and it fires a massive oh. ballista bolt into your are chest. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you are you kidding? No, I'm not. Are you oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, is, that, is that a probo die? Give that to him for disadvantage or something. Goodness. Nope, you can. You can do that. Well, I, uh, thought, I thought I had to do that before you did the thing. I didn't roll it yet. He hasn't rolled yet. No, yeah. I know. We're fine. You'll be fine. It, a ballista is only a ballista. 90, 12. You'll, you'll survive it. Plus six to hit. Is it actually? That's 17 to hit you? Yeah. 17 hit over? Yeah. Okay. It's over. Mm. So 90, 20. You take 16 points of piercing damage, and you now have a massive ballista bolt in your chest. Do you still have the door open, or did you let it go after this happened? I let it go. As soon as you let it go, you hear mechanisms going, and you can see it's reloading itself as the door closes. I get to the floor, and I say, NOBODY GET NEAR THE yeah. DAMN DOOR! <laughs> <laughs> so you're pulling the ballista bolt out? Because I think it's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> then I'm leaning to the side. Whatever it takes. I'm just... Everybody <laughs> down! <laughs> just down! So did you run back to the hallway that you originally came from? Because you had to go 30 feet to open that door. I flattened. Like, I just... Oh, you're just laying. I'm so laying down. Copic here. Copic Obu is yelling out. out. Hit the floor. Yeah. I Copic's imagine Marwin, right. like, lays down. <laughs> Marwin lays down on the ground. He goes in his shell. <laughs> Copic is full sprint heading for Obu. Okay. I'm in the process of pulling it out of just my Just pulling chest. out this massive ballista bolt while she's laying in front of a door. Do I'm not! Just gonna walk I said get away from the door! And rip and just pull it out of her. Ouch, it hurts, but yes, it's now removed from your Thank body. You. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> I am going Ooh. to uh, close the door. It's already, it closed. You said okay. you let it go. Yeah. And as it was closing, you noticed that the mechanisms were re, it's like reloading the crossbow bolt okay. into the mechanism and then it shot. I want to cast first level fine traps on the rest of the hallway. Okay. So I'm gonna. I think that's a second level spell. Isn't is it? it? Yes, it is. It is a second level spell. That one. I'm doing that one. Okay. Okay. So you're looking down the hall and then casting fine traps. Yeah, I've never done it before, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Well, um, you did it earlier. You just weren't here. I was. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wait, it did it stay, things it too did late. stay up? What the fine traps? Is it it's a, not concentration. Okay. It's just like a okay. boom. But and anything she can feet. see within 120 feet. Okay, so looking down there, you can see the hallway goes for about another 60 feet. Mm -hmm. The door in front of you is trapped. There's a ballista behind it. Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's there. Now. It's there. <laughs> about about 40 feet down the hallway. Got there's a trip. That one. There's a trip wire. Okay. That looks like it unleashes something from the ceiling. Okay. And then 60 feet at the end of the hallway, there seems to be a false floor. I don't think this is the way to go, guys. There's why? There, there's just... like three traps in here. I got shot, but I'm bleeding profusely <laughs> here. If you can tell, if you'd like to look at my lung, you can see my left lung. <laughs> Would you like to and see? It's pretty cool. Copper should have sort of poke at it. I'm gonna smack him and be like, all right. See right there, 40 feet up, there's a little trip wire there. And see over there, that's not a floor, that's a false floor. Let's not go this So, way. but why would they set up traps to defend nothing? Can I take the ballista bolt and know, throw man. it at the trip wire? I mean, pain. we got everything we needed. Yeah, out of here. Do you want me to it's really roll small. across the oh, floor? Okay. I'm, not I'm more trying to throw it. You can, you can roll like, you mm -hmm. across the floor. Okay. Yeah, make a dexterity throw. Oh, I'm just trying to trigger the... Uh, Tripwire trip with the ballista, ballista bolt that I pulled out of her. <laughs> Great. I'm still bleeding. My my lung is still oh. expanding. <laughs> I think we just stepped over to one. You did not step. You, it goes over the tripwire and just goes ding, 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 ding. And then it goes, it rolls all the way down to the end of the hallway where she said something about a false floor and just disappears into the floor. Oh. And you hear ding, ding. I'm going to take, can I take my little short bow? And can I try to shoot the tripwire? Sure. Make a uh, dexterity. We'll make an attack with your short bow. Short bow. You said short bow, right? Yeah. Oh, short bow. Short bow. Short bow. Short bow. That's what I thought. You were taking a shot, right? Yeah. Shot. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I'm just making sure. Fourteen. 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 Uh, it's really small. Mm -hmm. Yours does the same thing. It just rattles across the floor and then disappears into the floor at the end of the hallway. You know what? You know what? Uh, I'm gonna ask them if they wanted what they want to do. do. Are we going down this hallway? I don't know. Are we gonna go down this hallway? Well, I've been do you want to go down this hallway? Oh, do we go down this hallway? Or are you gonna fight your way back out the entrance? It might be a way out. It could be out. a. I don't know. It could be a way out. It could. It not may be. be a way maybe out. they're defending from people who got the thing and left the room. Maybe they're trying to stop you from leaving. So maybe this could be an exit. Well, we know where the traps are, so let's just not hit the traps. Okay. Can we all step How over fun? a wire? Yeah, can everybody I step can, over a wire? I can step over a wire. Okay. I want to lift you over the wire. Oh, your poison condition would be gone. Oh, yeah. Cool. You know, last thing. I only said that and, because uh, your knees are so... so but your, your, resi your constant... My thing's still yeah, there. she's probably still concentrating on that boat. Yeah. yeah. As much as I can. <laughs> um, okay, how far... How big across is the false floor? Um, about the same as it was before. You guys can skid around it, but it would require an acrobatics check to do so. Or you can, well, what makes this difficult is 
The false floor is at the very end of the hallway, so you can't leap over it because you'd be jumping into a wall. Is there a door? Challenge accepted! No, the first person, the first person needs to open up the door. It's just so the end of the hall, and it looks like it goes corner. to the left. Oh, dang, yeah. so no. So there's more so, hall. Okay, so it's, it's, it's situated in a corner. Mm-hmm. Ooh, sure. okay. can you yeah. jump I diagonally? Can I corner jump huh? Can you jump diagonally? You can, but you can't get the running start, which okay. would mean your jump would be, if you're doing a long jump, if you move 10 feet, you can jump a number of feet up to your strength score. So that would make it that you can only do half of that distance. So you guys would... So basically... A uh, standing long jump is what you guys would be have to be making. Uh, everybody line up. Okay. We're everybody line up. up. We're lining up. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll be second in the lineup. Nope. Just uh, get in the line. Just get in the line, and whatever happens, just trust it. Okay. Okay. Copper's gonna stand right on the lip of the thing, looking down. And I'm right behind Copper. Actually, yeah, it'll be fine. This will be great. Um, no, no, no. Don't get in line. I'm sorry. Uh, just wait, and then you'll go. I'm gonna cast gust of wind. Um, okay. And it's a Hi. sixty foot long. 10 foot wide glass. Okay. That's just gonna blow us into the wall. And I can shape it in whatever shape that I want. Oh, okay. So, oh, so if you'll sh- let me, I'm gonna shape it around the corner. Around the corner? And you if. Can and you can Yeah, hold it can it. push a creature 15 feet. And you can hold it, right? Yeah, it's concentration for a minute. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna do it, guys. I think. I hope. <laughs> I don't know what's. I don't even know what's down this hallway. Okay. You choose the stun duration. The so, oh, it lasts for a minute, but. I can drop it whenever I'm done. So I'm just gonna start this big gust of wind and just say. As it shoots down that first hall, because you're standing, I would assume. Well, I'm gonna get all the way down there before we walk over the tripwire. I just assumed you were blowing the wind and walking while you had it going. I'd rather get, like, everybody near that gap. Okay. And then so you and then first people have to deal jump the, in. And still then, a, so you guys are going to go over the tripwire. Yeah. Okay. You make it. You guys know where it is now, so it's easy to easy to see. They're really well hidden. It's like a really small fishing line almost mm-hmm. as it goes across. You guys move your way down the hall, and then you go to that corner, and you can see that there's no light in here, so it's only the ever burning torches that are kind of lighting it up. But it looks yeah. like that hallway turns, and it looks like it goes for a significant amount that way. Um, the gust of wind actually does. It, it goes farther than your torch can can light. The the torches will go out um, unless it's a protected flame that has a fifty percent chance. Uh, if it's an ever burning torch, will yeah. it go out? Uh, it just says torch? torches. It doesn't okay. say. I will say that these will stay lit. Okay. Because they're magical torches, magical torch light. I'm gonna throw mine into it and see. Okay. Make sure it goes around. Okay. Yeah, it goes around. You can see that once you throw it, you can see the end of the hall, and there's a door at the end of the hall. Okay. Cool. Everybody go. Jump. Have fun. Cop it's jumping. I'm just going to... I'm trusting Captain. Um, go ahead make an... Oh, God. Guidance. I cast guidance. These are jumps with just standing. So let's make athletics checks with advantage because you're being pushed... By a gust of wind, is that true? Is that how it's going to be? Do you, yeah. Are you behind them? Yeah, I'll be the last one to go. Okay. I don't have I don't have to stand a glass from you in a direction. Yeah. yeah so, so I will not be able to go. Yeah, you will be the last. You just won't have advantage on your your jump. Okay. Can I cast guidance on every single person? If you go next to last and let them go it. ahead of you, you I'll can go it. guidance. They jump. Guidance. They jump. <laughs> That's what guidance. They jump. <laughs> <laughs> And I not shout like, it out not like, my God bless you. It's just, <laughs> yeah. I just go through and I smack each of their heads. I'd like that's to a do D4? That. Yeah, that's a D4. I'll roll for Marlon. Uh-oh. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, athletics plus three. With advantage, yeah. because you guys have the wind. Uh, 15, 15 from Marlon. Bayleaf makes it easily. 25. You make it easily. Oh, we have... Advantage, you advantage oh, because advantage. you got a wind gust behind you. It's blowing you we'll to the other side. We'll so what? Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're about that to, uh, to break time. Got a message saying if you don't do it now, that's fine. Thirteen. Thirteen. Barely. Yeah. Once <laughs> you make it to the other side. All right. I feel like I've done better. Oh, fine. Scratches. Here. All right. 
Oh my god. So okay. 17 plus. Oh yeah, you're gonna make it. 20. Did Marlin make it okay? 15. 15. Yeah, Marlin made it. Did anybody so roll for scratches? Scratches made it. Scratches made it. Everybody made it over? Okay. Oh, I, I didn't go yet. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, make it. I make it. I make it too? Hey, hey, copy. And you got guidance, so. Throw me a rope. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna off and throw the rope over. I'm gonna just make, quick, make, real quick. To wait, did you check. throw the entire yeah. rope? Since you have to the rope, him? no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tie it on my way That's to the top. Are you keeping easy. the wind blowing while you do this? So I can't. I am the source around? of the wind, yeah. so I don't think I can jump into the wind. He's I mean, uh, are you pushing it down the hall? Oh no, I'm gonna let go once everybody's gone. Okay, so did it go around the corner? I assume it did. And it goes sixty feet. Yeah, sixty feet. It triggered another one of those trip wires down the hall. And the floor kind of goes or the ceiling. It was about twenty feet away from where you guys just jumped across. See, oh, thank goodness. All good. Yeah, let me double check. Bleeding pretty heavily. Yep, yeah, that's the that's the trip wire that See, is true. You all could have gotten crushed, but instead nobody got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good luck. Uh, yeah, I'll tie it and go ahead and jump. Make as, he ju- as he jumps, I'm just gonna pull with all yep. my strength. So that's giving him advantage. You're helping him. Uh, Twelve. Draw it with advantage? Yeah. Plus your 12. 12? Yeah. Wait, plus your. Uh, plus he jumps. Your little... Oh, blessed. Uh, yeah, do I he's get blessed. blessed. He's still blessed. It's Wait a oh, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still blessed? Yep. Guidance? 15. Oh, yeah, 15. 15. <laughs> you make it. <laughs> Copic pulls you across. You slam into him. He stumbles back just the slightest bit. <laughs> he has a massive door. I am very <laughs> And you're almost oh, out that. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what the rope and it looks like this hall goes about another sixty feet before that door. Okay. Do we want to? I don't have fine traps again. Yeah. And about twenty feet away from you, you can see the rubble laying on the ceiling from where you triggered that. Trigger. Did you guys get something? Uh, th- no, you did, but that's fine. Um, can hmm. I? Hmm. I'm gonna pull out my halberd and just start poking the floor and start walking down. Okay. Yeah, I like that. How far are you going? You oh, start dear. walking towards the door. Let's okay. keep tapping each tile. Let me double check one thing really quick. We are going to be... We're Shouldn't have dropped the guts. Oh, wait, it's a minute. Let's make a... Uh, do I? Make, no, we make still have it. Check. Okay. Ooh. Do you want to you just drop it? Drop, the yeah, drop the Jabberwocky down the... <laughs> the Jabberwocky. Just, <laughs> just drop it just down Just throw the, the mouse down the... No, the whole chest that it's in. Just slide it. No, okay, don't throw it in the chest, um, because if you throw it in without the chest, if there's spikes at the bottom, it'll die. Uh, oh, that's no, it'll turn it back into its thing. Yeah, and then why not? Oh, and then die. Would it, though? I don't know. I don't know, just throw it. it. Throw it down the hole. Okay, so, if you're a squirrel, uh-huh. and I stick an arrow through your head. That's bad. You don't die, you turn back into you. Am I but a squirrel? Arrow yeah. on the you head? didn't say that part. You just said a squirrel. <laughs> no, I said if you were a squirrel. Oh, I mean, yeah. And he's shouting this Sarah from down the hall. The the hall. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. The wind elemental is uh, I would like to say creeping thanks. behind us. Oh, creeping behind you? Yeah. Um, I forgot. I would like to say thank you, Sarah. I burnt that uh, double oh, yeah. my proficiency bonus because oh, yeah. I needed it. Yeah. Wow. That's a uh, 16. Willow's 16. got some... Uh, About 10 feet before you get to the door. You smack the floor. It didn't... The floor goes and opens up into a six foot pit and it falls about 10 feet from what you can see and it looks like there's spikes sticking up down at the bottom. Throw the Jabberwocky. Nope. That's not deep enough. No? Okay. Nope. Can we go back to the other one and I'm going to send dancing lights down the other hole and see how deep it is? The first one that we jumped over. Okay. Um, so you send your dancing lights. They disappear into the floor. You go further than 120. And feet. you can't see past the floor. Oh my so... god. All right, it's an illusory floor. floor. Can, I, yeah. can I stick my head through? Yeah, you stick your head through. <laughs> <laughs> look down, there's a turtle. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it may look like I'm in my shell, but my head's actually on the floor. <laughs> All of a sudden, the turtle's head just disappears in the floor. It's only about 10 feet, and there's spikes at the bottom. Oh. Don't throw it in this floor. Oh. You do see that there is. A massive harpoon from like a like a ballista laying down there, and a, mm. an arrow that was shot down the hallway or sticking down there as well. No treasure. And, All right. and a, a few lot bones. of obu upon yeah. its tip. You're not sure from what. Good ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Now we'll we'll hang on to this for a few more minutes. Um, I'm gonna send the wind elemental down to the end of the hallway. Okay. It gets to the part where there seems to be this opening now. It's gonna have. Oh, can they hover? 
Yeah. Okay, then it hovers right over top of it and gets to the door. Yes, it's recovery. Oh, let's go fly speed. Speed. I think we're Yeah, they have fly speeds are good. Yeah. Guys, I think this is a, this is a trap. Oh, I think all of this is a trap. I think we're just going to be dying in here. Before. This is I think we should hold up and. Well, I, did, I walked all the way down and tapped it. And this yes, it has 40 feet fly. Okay, yeah, so it, it, get, it goes past Copic and gets to the door. We're going to die. Okay. Well, so that space you... that's the hole that Copic found, does it go all the way up to the door? Like, do we have to jump over that too, or is there a landing? No, there's like a there's like a landing space on the on the backside. Okay, and you said it was like six feet. About, about yeah, the 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 hole is six feet, but then on the other side you got about ten feet, and then there's the door. so we can all jump that one. Mm-hmm. You could, yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's jumping. Jump across. Okay, this Topic one you, you guys can get a ten foot run on. on this one, yeah. so everybody can make it without okay. having to make a check. Good, good, good. So good. everybody good. just jumps all across. Copy. Sure. Don't go first. You look like absolute hell. I'm very up to the help. Who else is going to go first? No one else is doing Do you have a potion? Do I have a potion? Oh, uh, I have a potion. I thought he kicked in something. You look like... I don't have a potion. <laughs> Somebody stole two potions out of a chest. You one guys, of y'all never has have, a potion. Oh, the new one. Here, take a yeah, new one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give him one of the new ones. These are regular healing potions. There's two of them. I took so. the so chain mail, or I took four? the scale mail, and I took the five bolts of silk. I have no idea. I can't remember. You think I play D and D so much? Sure. You would think I would know. You have a potion of healing card or something. I did. Yeah. I know it's two D four, but I don't know if it's yeah. two plus two plus. Okay. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's two D four plus two. Yeah. Two D four plus two. Two. Okay. So. Okay. Nine points. Nine points. You You're like scabbing. Eight points. <laughs> just like something right here on your forehead. I'm just gonna like use my coffee. <laughs> I feel <a> scab. <laughs> Runs on the forehead down, just bleeding profusely. <laughs> Look like a pro wrestler bleeding. <laughs> Sorry. Put a rag back on me. Uh, who wants to check the door? Does I think I will? And Scratch just steps up. I trust you. Plus four. He had to roll. What? Plus four? What about plus four? Scratch is. He's making an investigation check on the door. Or. Is the door seems fine? I like that he doesn't tell us the number because we still we have no idea what Scratch is. Really. Oh god, this is great. It could totally. Uh, Should I open it? Just go for it, Scratches. Yeah. Um, we're all bleeding pretty heavily. We need a way out. Just go out. And do I'm good. I'll go behind Scratches. Scratches opens the door and immediately goes, The shit! Another bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the bullet comes shooting out at him. Yeah. And that's when we're gonna take our break. No. <laughs> we're gonna kill scratches. Where are we gonna get <laughs> out of here? here. <laughs> we should have known. Okay. If there's one more trap. He needed one a fourteen. He rolled a thirteen. We are oh. leaving. <laughs> We are leaving. We're leaving the normal way out. If there is, we're not. So many we things. won't survive the normal way out. There's we left it on the other side. Yeah. We're gonna 14, die in here anyway. Damage. I think we should hole up he in that room dead. and almost take a long this. rest because then only one person can come in at a time. All right, Which folks. We're gonna take our break. <laughs> have some dessert. Take about a ten to fifteen minute break and see what what the group is gonna do. Oh boy. I'm so stressed uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> when they get back. Let's see how they manage this. So stay put, everybody. It's been quite exciting so far. Uh, Scratches is almost dead. Yeah, they are now in the possession of a oh, yeah. pretty nice-looking fancy box. So with a prime stone potentially. I bet I could open it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I could open it too. Just you most definitely could open it, considering it's made out of insulation foam. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Everybody, stay with us. We will be back in just a moment. See you guys soon.
back. <laughs> Just talking about Um Yeah. We're back. Thank you guys so much for joining us and hanging out with us tonight. Thank you, Jason, for inspiring Obu. Thank your, you. With your gift there in chat. We appreciate, really appreciate you. it. Our party has just discovered that they made it to the end of a hallway that has no way out. So they opened up another ballista shot into the chest of their friend Scratches, who looks very hurt. And that door closes, and you're at the end of the hallway. Rip the ballista out. <laughs> let's throw the thing in there. Let's run as far as we can, then sleep as hard as we can, and then let's leave as fast as we can. Ah! <laughs> that's a lot of as we can. I'm worried that that ballista shot one isn't going to be enough to kill it. Well, so. no, because then, then it's going to have to deal Don't with the it. same It's going to have to deal with the pit, and then it's going to have to deal with the one trip wire that we didn't have, and then it's going to have to deal with another ballista. Can I mean, you sleep so... while it's going down the hallway? Well, I mean, is it going to... I'm kidding. Wait, come on. <laughs> we got 30 minutes left with this guy, and we, a rest takes about an hour, I would say. You know, I feel like I'm going to sleep an hour, just, you know. But, uh, <laughs> what are we going to do with it? We got to do something. Let's go sleep in the lead room. Let's barricade the lead room, and then let's, you know, be safe and sleep. Yeah. Please. Well, yeah. Yeah. We, need to, we need to stop moving. Um, I'm bleeding. Do you see my lung still? It's... <laughs> See his lung? Uh, right around poke at the head. Scratches? You know, he's fine. He's, he's fine. His fur will cover it up. But see? I'm, I'm so much worse. Tell me the love pain. <laughs> <laughs> so let's sleep, guys. Yeah, uh, why don't we, we can just... Sleep. We can... What do you want to do? Can't sleep. Sleep take too long. Well, we, we can rest. Take a break. Yeah, take yeah a break. let's take a nice yeah, little short, break. A short... Short rest is 30 minutes, nice. right? Short rest is an hour. Short rest is an hour, right. You okay. have 30 minutes left on the poly board. If we leave it at the end of the hallway and then go into the lead room, what I'm worried, and, and taking that there, what I'm worried about is if they make it back to us. But they won't know where to find us. And we can barricade that door. But we have to get out eventually. Well, we don't... We barricade <laughs> which, the which way does the door room. open? Barricading the trap uh, door. For the, the lead door. The lead door yeah, into the room. Okay. Door opened in. We go into the lead room. Barricade door. Then we go to leave, we just open door. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's leave it right here. Okay, oh, let's like, leave it right here. Someone put it in the ballista door. Lay down <laughs> before you open the door. Okay. Obu's going to lay down <laughs> and then open the door. Okay, where's everybody else then? Away. They're on the sides. <laughs> They're on the sides. Okay. And I smack the doorknob and I'm going to open it up and then okay. I'm going to shove the box, slide it to the back slide of the ballista thing. Slide it to the back, okay. And then I'm going to shimmy with all my shimmying power over to the left. Oh, okay. but I'm going to close the door before I do. So, you know, okay. Like You've noticed that the other door, that, that both these doors are on like, there's a cable mm -hmm. that's pulling them closed. Oh, so it didn't After happen. you open them. Okay. And that mechanism is attached to the reloading mechanism, which is causing them, as the door closes, it reloads itself. Okay. And prepares itself for, to trigger again if it's open again. So that door is closed so and I shimmied over yeah, to the side. It's ready to fire so again. So now it is ready. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and jump over the thing and get ready to look out for the other trap that was on the way. Okay. You do so. that As you open that door, ducking, you hear the... One goes you, down the hole. You hear it lodge into the, the stone on the opposite end of the hallway. And then you slide the box in and it goes... And the door closes back shut. Okay, before we Everybody's go, standing up against the hallway, you guys just watch this thing go <laughs> down the hall. Before we leave, Scratch, just help me real quick. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll do it. You look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm going to do an investigation real quick, just to make sure there's, actually, Wanda Secrets. Okay. Check the end of this hallway, make sure there's nothing else down here. Okay, in this, in this hallway? Yeah, it will last within 30 feet, so just... Down the nothing sparkles, nothing glows. Dang. Doesn't seem like any hidden doors here. Okay. Good to know. It was a trap. trap. It was a trap. <laughs> I start screaming at him. <laughs> Just starts. I told you! The first ballista, it hurt. <laughs> Alright, let's see. He wasn't down here, that was me. Hmm? Hmm? When you got shot the first time and screamed like a chicken with a No, I told him it was a trap. 
Oh. Or I told him it was there was nothing down the hall. She did. I don't know. Several times. Sorry. Never mind. No, I'm not. All right, let's go rest. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not. All right, so you guys shove that in there. The door closed. Oh, we have to get back over the hole again. Yep, the big hole, way. yeah. You have gust of wind You can again? either make an acrobatics check to shimmy around it, or you can make an athletics check to try to jump it. Can I... I'm gonna athletics and try to jump over. Just you guys can help each other if you want. I cast inspiration. I mean, not inspiration. What is it guidance. called? Guidance. I cast guidance on every single one of these fools. You can use okay. the rope technique if you guys want to. Well, that's right. Once Copic's over, he's gonna throw the rope over and just start. Okay. Helping yeah, people. you can go ahead and make your check first, then, and then with your. Oh God. Oh dear. Oh God. You had the rope. Oh God. Yeah, my was rope. It, was it tied around you? What'd you What'd you roll there, buddy? 12. 12. What? How did that number come out of there? Yeah, Three man. for guidance, plus seven on athletics, oh. and a two on the die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, I had to roll a two or lower, assuming it's still a 13. Uh, you make it across. <laughs> you land on the other side. Literally. You can feel like your left foot slips into, like, and disappears into the floor just slightly. <laughs> But you make it. Does that happen? I fall away from the left foot. <laughs> yeah, you made it across. I am so mad. You barely got there. You know, the yeah, I got If you were still a snake, we could have walked across. I know, right? It would have been completely fine. <laughs> snake bridge. <laughs> it would have been great. I would have allowed it. We could have um, the big snake. Let's see. That sounded gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crazy. Apparently, I have two. I'm not gonna try and fix it. Nope. Gonna take the mall and take one of my malls off my back, tie the rope around it, throw it across the little gap of the hole. I think you gave one of those to Cog. Wait, because the somebody had a uh, Vilk had a mall, and I think you gave it to Cog. Yeah, but I wasn't using D and D Beyond at that point. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying I think that's Oh maybe where, that's where it came from. I think that's where I think he actually has possession of that second mole. Okay. I'll still take the first one off because I'll get it back. Okay. So using a mole and tossing it over there? Basically you just It's only like a th- six foot. He handed to me. Yeah, you can probably like reach down and hand it to me. throw it over somebody. Just hand the rope over. Honestly, that's probably bigger than six feet right there. Yeah. <laughs> so the For social distance. It's fine. Okay. Let's start so, jumping. Okay, all right. Who's tying themselves first? I'll tie. Wait, no, I'm casting guidance. You guys all have advantage because yeah, Copic is helping you. So you guys can all make your checks with advantage. I'll go last. These are athletics. Ooh. Oh, I'm 18 fine. for Silas. Oh, we got to check. Uh... Wow, Mayleaf just makes it. 23 for Ovo. Thank goodness um, for advantage. 16. Ovo makes it. For Marlon. 12. Marlon and... makes it. Whew. It's only a six foot gap. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, the six. Wait, foot I thought gap. this was the big one. No, this is. It, There's not a big one. The, what makes this difficult is it's on a corner. Okay. So you can't get a running so this start. Is the right. one. Okay, okay. Okay. So it's half of your strength score to be able to jump it. Gotcha. Without rolling, so you guys are rolling, but it's still not a hard roll. Half my strength score is ten. So five. So five. So you can only jump without a running start. You can only jump five feet. Mm-hmm. So. You would have to roll to be able to exert yourself to be able to make it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, I'm trying to roll board. Scratches? Did Scratches make it? Yeah, Scratches made it. Okay. Everybody made it across. Thanks. That's what Copic said. I can jump nine feet standing. The stretch was 18. You can. Yeah, you don't even have to. Roll. <laughs> <That's stable. laughs> Spooky. All right. Uh, then we're just gonna go and Let's walk. Go we're gonna step over that one that we left. Yeah, you just leave one tripwire. Yeah. And we're gonna step over that, and then we're going to not open the last door for the ballista. Nope. And yep. we're going yep. to uh, go in the lead room, I guess. Go into the lead room. Go and barricade the lead room. Doors. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Barricade the doors. What do you barricade them? With? We're gonna pull in the chest. Halberds. Oh, lots Halberds. of halberds. Yeah, do that. Okay. Okay. Halberds. And this heavy chest. It's got it. probably right. empty now and not so heavy. Sit yeah. on it. Yep. Take a nap in there. Sleep in it. Well, you can probably fit. Okay. So you guys. Oh, you put you in the bag and put the bag in the box. You guys can take your uh, short rest right yeah. here. I'm gonna spend some time with the thingy thing and the the thing and the yes. yes. Mm. Mm. The the scale. armor. Yeah. Scale mail. Scale mail. Scale mail. Yeah. And I'm gonna look at the cloak. Ah, 
you guys, if you spend hit dice, you can get one extra hit point because Beep. Bayleaf is playing his loot and did Song of Rest, but only rolled a one. Well, I'll use my staff only. So if anybody would like to spend hit dice for a short rest, you can. Where? How you can them. I do that? Because my... Okay, so scroll up to the top. Oh, short, short rest. rest. There we go. Thank you. And then you'll see a thing for hit dice. How many do you think you want to use? Two. It's not on a sheet, but Scratches has five. Oh. And I oh. believe rogues have a D8. Yes. yes. Should I use my staff healing before we do that or after? I would save it. Save it? See yeah, how everybody is. Right? Yeah, because okay. realistically, I don't think any of us have really used our hit die. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I don't need any healing. I'm good. Nobody's touched me. I'm invincible. I'm so hurt. Silas said that out loud. Come on, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two. Mine is not doing it for me, so I'm going to... Well, I don't roll mine through here. I just use it to mark off how many I use. Okay. Question. Do you know what else sorcerers get on a short rest? I don't, to be honest. Ooh. I, don't I don't get any spell slots back, and I haven't used any meta magic, so I do guess. Do we recover wild shape? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. We do. wild shapes come back. Yeah, you get both back. I think I don't get any. Can I just say I am loving this bloody uh, necklace? Oh yeah, that, that necklace is big. That was the one that Valentinus gave you, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That when I roll a hit die, I gain double. Whatever's on the die. Oh. I just rolled right. a twenty on a hit die. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I have d10s, so I rolled wow. a ten, and because of this necklace. You get double. Um, that's amazing. Is my temporary time, HP gone Double now? the number. How long did that that's last? Um, um. You said one from what's his name. Yeah. How long did your enhance ability last? Mm. One hour. So I still should have. No. Yeah, that's it. It should be gone now. Twelve. Yeah, I'm good there. I have all my first level spell slots. I have none of my second, all of my third, and all of my fourth left. So I have no second level spell slots. <laughs> Um, I don't think I don't bards. I don't think bards get spell slots back on short Here? rest. I think it's just warlocks. Yeah. Um, wizards. wizards. wizards Is that gone now? Yeah. What was the bottom one though? Was that, that wasn't was it? Concentration on the polymorph. Oh. Okay. So that's gonna be gone. That's gonna be gone. Yep. Wow. That's As we're sleeping. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> <laughs> so, so about thirty minutes into your arrest, from mm. behind the wall, you hear. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's smart so wait, enough oh, to open doors. So open door. Time to go. We and then you hear. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it fell on the pit. Oh. Okay. And Time to gonna, go. And then it's going to trumble some traps. We still have 30 We're minutes left and none of this happens. Um. Did you hear nothing? Okay. This is good. Maybe you can't get out of the traps. Maybe it's okay. There's figures. Okay, cool. This is and good. Your next 30 minutes passes. So it can open uh, doors. I want to inspect the cloak. Oh, hands. Oh, yeah. It is thing. a cloak of elven kind. Oh, okay. What's up? It, um... It has an elven cloak of elven kind. <gasps> advantage on stealth, I Yeah, think. advantage on stealth moves. You might so... need that. Let me double check. <laughs> if you search it on DMD Beyond, I think you can just add it to your character yeah. sheet and it'll tell you everything it does. But I, I think it does give you like advantage on stealth. Okay. And it also does something else. It, it's like an action to put the hood up, and then if you have the hood up, it's disadvantage on anybody trying to find you. Something like that. Could be, yeah. That's what the cloak is. The armor that you have mm -hmm. is magical mithril scale mail. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, okay. That means, like, scale mail normally gives you disadvantage on, like, stealth checks and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's considered a medium armor. But, in this case, all those other things don't apply, but it still counts as scale mail armor. Okay. So it's like wearing scale mail without any of the disadvantages of having scale mail armor. Is it metal? 
It's mithril, so it's a kind of... Why would you explain mithril? Is it a medium or a heavy guy? That's, I think, what you guys... No, 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 druids can't druids wear anything. Can't wear anything uh, than, yeah. I don't know if mithril, I, mithril is, is a metal. I think it is considered a metal. Okay, yeah. well then I so, cannot wear this. But the good thing about it too is, if you wanted to wear it, it says it's since it's a medium armor, you can wear it underneath clothing. Oh, cool! Mm-hmm. So that people don't know you're wearing armor. mithril, magical mithril armor. That's mm. the benefit of it. It's okay. hidden armor. So if remember, that's what saved Frodo from getting speared. So mm-hmm. do yep. you want to wear this? My shell is it's better, better off well, than that. Who, she can't wear it either because she's a druid. It wouldn't fit. What's the? It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit me. Do we know what this hat is? The stat? Of yeah. Bag. Uh, oh no. My dice. Is it like plus three days here? Yeah. Player's handbook, equipment, armor, and shields. So here we go. Armor. Mithril armor is considered a medium armor, or no, mithril scale mail. So it's medium armor, so it's 14 plus dex modifier, max of 2. So the maximum AC benefit would be a 16 from it. Uh, well, yeah. The disadvantage would not apply, and its weight would also be changed. But it says 45 pounds. I think mithril armor is like very light. Like I don't think it's let barely... Me, let me yeah. look up on the internet if, if I could wear it for some... Like, I don't know if I could wear it or not. Yeah, it wouldn't help me. Can I drop all that? Can yep. druids wear? Yes. Whatever mithril. Mike wants to do. Well, yeah. If it could, could I wear it? What's that? D&D man? D&D, D&D, D&D man. man. D&D man. D&D man. That's you. <laughs> I'd have to um, look it up. Does it say? Uh, it'll say under in the player's handbook underneath. Hey, you can try and add it in D&D Beyond and see what happens. Chat, so strictly, it says strictly raw druids don't, won't wear armor made of metal, which mithril obviously is. I um, think it's like I think it's like a character choice. My character does not care. I, I don't think. I believe that yeah, druids Obu does not care how much. Would not want like to wear it because of just man-made. Yeah, it's they prefer things of nature, but. Well then, I mean, in that case, then I'll just wear it. But I don't. Oh, oh we don't care. Here's one for you. Oh, oh we don't care. Crown. The, oh, oh, we don't give a crap. This is sage advice. It is heavily taboo amongst druids. Yeah. So ah, if a druid ooh. finds out that Obu's wearing it, yeah, yeah. they might be hostile towards you ooh. because they're you wear it. Obu's gonna wear it's it. Kinda like, she's gonna have her tons it's kind of like stuff over the Mandalorian it. and him always wearing his helmet, and then what? all the other ones just taking off their helmets. This is the way. Okay. It'd okay. be bad. Well, then that's fine because <laughs> Obu will throw hands at anyone. <laughs> Obu is not your typical druid. <laughs> Obu is on a mission and she's going to get her money back, even though it was probably only like 20 gold at the time. She's going to get her money back. <laughs> well, considering you're broke because all your money is now paying Bailey. Oh, no. No, I'm not broke in this slightest. <laughs> I'm not even remotely broke. Yeah, no, Michael goes. Roughly what you had. He offered the whole thing to Bayleaf. No, he didn't. He offered 500 or something. Don't you? No, don't. We had a discussion. It's on the internet. Like th- Everybody knows. <laughs> it, was, it was a thousand Okay, gold here's the benefit of mithril smoke. armor. It oh. can be armor, medium or heavy, but not hide. Uh, it's considered a mithril is a light, flexible metal. Hmm. Uh, a chain shirt or breastplate can be worn underneath normal clothes, so scale mail also would be, would be that. It doesn't... It normally poses a disadvantage. It does not... And if it has a strength requirement to wear, it doesn't. So, like, if you have to have, like, a 10 strength to wear, or, you know, a 12 strength to wear it, that doesn't apply. Okay. How do I add it to my character? Um, if you go to equipment. Yeah, if you go under, to it'll be there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, so do a search for its scale. If you do a search. Yes, chat, Willow judges Obu for the scale mail. <laughs> so if you click on yeah. scale. Maybe slightly. <laughs> Then it should give you a drop down, and there should be. Um, Did you find the yeah, so that's kind? Smoke right armor, armor add okay. mithril scale mail right here. There you go. Add. And then you just scroll Speaker down to Willow find it. judges Obu for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can equip it. But other than the two potions of healing and the coins, I think that was everything. I think so. There mithril it is. Scale mail. And oh I my sure god! You take off your. Uh, I think he oh, drank one. one, and you still got one left. I have right? okay. one. Okay. Apparently, it's bumped up me up. That was an addition to your card, so I think you still have one left. Yeah. Well, your... I didn't pick up anything. They grabbed it. You still have a potion? Can I see? Yeah. Go no. for it. No. Apparently, oh, I have the second my one. AC is now eighteen. Until we, we're gonna look at this for a second. Okay, you do have a shield on there. 
Yes. So what that means is I know you have the staff. Oh, uh, whenever I use so my So when you shield. attack with the staff, you can mm -hmm. only use it one-handed. So yes. it would be a 1d6. 1d6. If you want to use it two-handed to get the 1d8, you have to stow the shield, which would drop your AC to down two. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So depending on what I'm, what I'm attacking with depends on what my AC is. Right. Because okay. you need, to make it two-handed on your staff, you have to mm -hmm. put the shield away. This will be really you. nice for tank. For tank obu. This is tank gonna be obu. really nice for tank obu. <laughs> I was like, that's mine always reads twenty one. Mm -hmm. But because I'm using the two handed sword, you shield's on my back. The shield. the shield is plus three for plus, you. No, right? plus two. I'm gonna so throw the hood up. Shield and and I'm gonna hide behind that. Yeah, you can warding flare and be like, as a reaction. Well, can flare? you see me? Disadvantage on the attack. I'm gonna take a second to respond. Like I'm I don't even hear you. <laughs> Cop it, can you see me? <laughs> Obu wants to wear You're it under the clothes, brain. by the way. I'm hiding behind the pillar with the cloak up. <laughs> a copper's probably leaning against the door, so if you're hiding on the other side of the pillar, I'm going, hmm? <laughs> this cloak makes me invisible. <laughs> Turtle man. I'm going to, like, dart between the two pillars. Turtle man. Turtle man. Turtle man. Oh, boy. Well, uh, Silas finishes his short rest by running around the room and, and I perching on. I didn't rest. I didn't take any damage, so I didn't sit still the whole time. You, you were just, you were just playing. Around. Yeah, I've been playing around. Wait, oh, did you did you read up on what the cloak does mm -hmm. specifically? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So it, I'm it's one it of my time favorite time. things in the game because like you just go hood up, can't see me, hood down, pew pew. <laughs> Best for rangers. You had a high passive perception, right? Yeah, my passive oh, perception uh, is perfect. seventeen. Seventeen. Shoo, girl. What was yours? My passive perception yeah. is 14. 14. So, Where do I find yes. mine? It should um, be on, on the, the bottom screen. left on the main There's screen. Main screen, under saving Oh, cards. mine's also 17. Yeah. 17. It's pretty high. I didn't know wisdom, that. It's wisdom time characters leave. usually yeah. have. Yeah. 13. 13? You all hear this. Oh, great. You hear something mm -hmm. coming from the direction in which you guys came. The, the treasure room. Mm -hmm. You hear... <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. They're getting hit by traps. Okay. I think we left a lot of traps unsprung or mm -hmm. undetected. It's probably a good idea. Well, there was one in that main hallway. There was a pit. I think so. We skirted around yeah. one or two pits I, in that main we, hallway. We found the traps. Um. Well, that means they're coming for us. So what do we do? Quiet. We're cornered. We fight. Everybody okay? I feel great. I really don't want to talk to them about what we found. Is everybody good with not talking to them? We didn't um, find anything. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's true. If they, uh, oh, I don't shoot, know, man. I don't know, man. I'm gonna just get really mad about how there wasn't a skeletal dragon down here. I'm gonna be very <laughs> okay with the fact that there was not. A Bayleaf kind of looks at you guys. It's just, Ozzy's gonna want that. He doesn't even know what it is. It's in her bag of holding. It's not, well, That's well, true. And That's true. Did they see me anything. put things in my bag of holding? Were we obvious about that? Probably. I think we were. You guys were all kind of like hanging yeah. around reading the, reading the parchment out loud. I should and... have hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a little too in shock to think about that. I say we just kill them or run past them and leave them. Or, I don't know. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, you mean the all the different awesome the, and all the, the, entire, the entire army that's now coming down here to get That's us. not what nine people. I totally say we don't let them know anything. Yeah. We did not find anything. We did not. We got we went through a long area of traps and we turned around. It was one awesome. thing you guys also got to remember: only you two, you two, Obu and Silas were the only two in that room when you opened that door, and it surprised Ozymandias, mm -hmm. and he told you, don't, never don't say anything. anything. Yeah, right. so no and you told everybody. <laughs> so the only he thinks that the only other two people that know about that are you two. Oh, well then. Whenever you left, at least. Yeah. Then we could. I don't. We could walk back out there, just me and you, and say, "Oh, we didn't find anything," and then leave. But then, how is everybody else going to get out? Distraction. Yeah, we could. I say we just. We go. could say, "Oh, we haven't finished exploring. Keep coming with us this way." And we lead him down the trap room and say, Ooh. you go first. Ooh, yeah, you go first. <laughs> hey, open up that door. Actually, let's go out there and get them to open up the you door. You two actually start to hear voices coming from the back hallway. 
Gosh, we gotta decide. Why don't we just? I don't know, because the monsters at the end of the hallway. I don't know. Who are the voices? Can we listen to the thing and see if we can hear who the voices are? Make a perception check. Okay, I'm gonna do that. If you'd like to. (laughs) Yeah. Um. It, well, it wasn't a yell, so you yeah. guys can't quite hear it, but they can. So yeah. if we all just stay really quiet and keep the I'm going to give you advantage. Oh, thank you. Just because of something that happened in the past. Well, that didn't help much. <laughs> uh, perception. Well, it's a 14. Wait, didn't you have something? Did, did the tent group give you something? Uh Oh, they gave me inspiration, but I got oh, that. She already had advantage. She already had advantage, yeah. 14. Uh, 14. You recognize one of the voices. It sounds like Ozzy Medias. Okay. Um. I guess we're just gonna need to go out there and we just stay quiet. Because he's gonna come over this door. It's shut. It's both barricaded shut. And he's gonna still stick around. Do you wanna just like wait it out? What if they go to the end of the room and I'm willing to wait for that. That's kinda funny. I'm willing to wait. I wanna wait until to see if they come and try to open up the other door. Alright. Okay. He might know well, he doesn't know what's down here. So I'll be really quiet. Everybody put their backs to the door. Don't run. I'm putting my ears to the door. (laughs) Copic is leaning against the door right now with a halberd wedged in to hold this thing shut. Door shut? Okay. Okay. So you guys are just going to be really quiet? And... Mm. Yeah. Okay, everybody make stealth checks. Yep. Uh, hey, now that you get to make your advantage stealth up. checks. <laughs> put up. Put up. Put up. But it's only... Like against someone's perception. Well, luckily, that yeah. was cocked. That was a natural one for uh, Bailey. 19. Wait. I'm going to use my insight. No, 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 no. Three. 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 Hey, Scratches, how you doing? Oh, Scratches, you're beautiful. <laughs> 12. Is it thank you? Scratches is a dirty, tw- <laughs> Scratches is a dirty no, 20. Nine. Nine. No, mm. nine. How close to the door are you? I didn't say. Okay, I'm 12. And I'm right up at the door. You guys want to know what I got? Okay. What? You wanna know what I got? Twenty. You wanna know what Marlon got? What? Two. Two. I got five. <laughs> with advantage? Even yeah. with oh. Luckily for this, it's not so much based on sight as it is on sound. Yeah. Because they can't they don't have a line of sight on you, so you guys are just trying to like huddle and stay quiet. Uh, Marlon sure. Marlon's shaking a little bit and it's he's causing rattling. he's rattling a little. <laughs> <laughs> Willow is a little bit too, but Willow is since finding oh. this box. Willow has not been 100% in the game. Nope. Um, Gotta get you, get you, get you, get you in the game. game. (laughs) (laughs) You guys hear voices out there. You hear talking. And you hear a couple shouts. Sounds like somebody getting really angry and frustrated. Then you hear what sounds like a bunch of those wooden coins being thrown across the room. (laughs) Rattling off of the walls. (laughs) And you hear somebody, it's fake! It's all fake! And then you hear, you must have found something. Follow me. Huddle it out. We're still huddling. I want them to come to us because we can control how much, if they come in the room or not. Okay. As you're like, huddle it up. You two can hear footsteps coming towards the door. Stop this, Mike. Mike. <laughs> you can't see You just hear. Mike. And you start to hear. But your doorknob is not turning. <laughs> oh, hear, it's the one beside. And you're drawing us through. Then your your door starts to fidget. <laughs> Grab the door knob. <laughs> yes. Make a strength check. Strength Nat- check. No, let me Nat- steal one. Guidance. <laughs> guidance. Guidance. Everything. Is guidance uh, verbal? No, it's touch. I know, no, it's a you verbal have to cast it. Yeah. Check your spell if you'd have to talk. Yeah, if you have to talk. <laughs> verbal and Where does it say verbal? Where is it Components of VNS. It's verbal? V is- what are you looking at? Oh, VNS, it is verbal. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you would know it's when you call it tough. Well, shit. (laughs) You said strength or athletics? Uh, This will be just brute strength to try to just keep this door handle. That's a seven. Ooh. I rolled double threes. You're holding the door. The door begins to open. 
inward and then hits the powder. Ozzy, the thing's stuck. We'll push harder. Open the door. All right. Go ahead and make a, uh, I guess, another check with advantage. It's, somebody's trying to shoulder wait, the door. Wait, wait. Um, I want to use my. Do I have to see people to use my telepathy? Or I if I know who it is, does it work that way? I don't know. I don't either. That's Ghostwise Halfling that has that ability. What book Here, is that check from? Your, yeah. If, if you, you look at um, yeah, it's it's a quick telepathy, thirty feet. doesn't say? No, not on that. Sorry. Yeah, you'll have to check the Ghostwise page. Telepathy, telepathy. Yeah, sight will matter here, because you it can't It says see you him. can speak telepathically to any one creature you share a language with within 30 feet. That's all it says. Okay, no, you can, yeah. I'm going to speak directly to Ozzy and Dias. Uh, I'm going to try to make my... Okay, the... The person at the door is not Ozzy Mendias. Okay. But you recognize his voice. Okay. He's Ozzy Mendias' bodyguard. What was his name again? I think his name was uh, Te- Tepak. T E P A K. I'm going to try to make my voice sound kind of scared, just like really intimidating and mm-hmm. forceful. Yeah. Leave. Okay. Leave this place. <laughs> Blowing leave. Get okay. out. What a roll. That took, it took a, uh, a couple yeah. of rides. <laughs> <laughs> it took a ride. The door stops moving. Ozzy! <laughs> Did you hear that? Ozzy! What? You didn't hear that? Some kind of... I don't know, it told me to leave. I'm gonna do it again. It did it again! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it? I heard nothing, you fool! Open the door! Scream at him this time. Yeah, right? yeah, leave! If you want to live! But it, it, I think it wants to kill me! <laughs> you don't hear it, Ozzy! <laughs> and you hear more footsteps coming down the hall. Fine, let him do it! Get out of the way! And you hear a couple other people approaching. Do the same thing. Oh, to, to them? Do you have to know do you have to know who it is? I don't know, it doesn't say. It says okay. that you share a language with. Any okay. creature within there. Okay. Anyone that touches the door. Alright. I would like to do that. The next one. It's various threats. <laughs> uh there's a hesitation. It's like, just get out of the way. He rolled a nineteen on his check to remain his uh in his composure, and he's gonna go ahead and try to smash open the door. Oh, the moment I hear or see the door bust open, yeah, I want to get to a point in between everybody mm-hmm. where I can do a lightning bolt down the hallway. Okay, 19. you can go ahead and position yourself the way you want. Yeah, just straight so right down the hall. 19. The door is uh, right here, right? Yeah. So the door smash it. It gets slammed. And it opens just that just enough for your halberd to stop it. You maintain it. You hold the door. <laughs> Ugh! It's jammed or something. It's stuck. And then you hear Ozzy's like, wait a second. Silas. Are you in there? What's <laughs> <laughs> up? <laughs> oh, boo! He just listens. Get my weapon ready. Okay. You hear weapons starting to be unsheathed mm-hmm. from outside the door. Do I, I feel like there's still somebody pushing on the door? It's that strange feeling where you can't hear anything, everything's super quiet, but you can just feel the presence of someone else. Then you hear Ozzy Mendias' voice a little bit louder. Silas, whatever it is that you have found, 
I need you to bring it to me. It belongs to me. Ogu does that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Kopik is going to very quickly, still leaning against her, pull the sword out okay. and activate it. Okay. Can I go ahead and pull out my staff, shillelagh, and ready a. Sure. I could and looking at the exactly. group. And oh, say, wait, yeah. Well, verbal? his command word is verbal, so that would uh, they would know if somebody's in here. Well, well if you there's a very know. specific reason. No, my touch. Kopik's going to look at Willow <laughs> and speak the other command word. What? To cast the spell out of the sword. What? Okay. Because the sword can cast spirit guardians. Okay. I didn't Ooh. know any of this. So you're casting spirit guardians? Okay. So at the, at the, the casting of the spell, cool. you guys are, well, if you guys are casting Eesh. spells, you're okay. definitely going to, huh. everybody's um, going to know you're here. Can, <laughs> they they, they, they seem like they know some, something's up anyway. Yeah, they, they yeah. seem to know something's up already, and that's, yeah. yeah. I'm going to point you. Yeah. You can try your best. You hear Ozzy dies. probably only 15 feet away from the door, maybe. Yeah. Even if you get through me. Augment will be waiting for all of you. Yeah, open the door. Wait, before we do that, I'm gonna say one more time, just directly to Augie. Last chance to get out. You just hear, GET OUT OF MY HEAD! <laughs> <laughs> Echoing down the hallway. <laughs> open that door. Um, okay, wait a minute. Actually, I can cast Wall of Fire one foot thick in a 60 foot range, mm -hmm. or 60 foot length. Yep. Beautiful. So, I just want to cast Wall of Fire straight down the middle and hit as many of them as I can. You, you have to. You have to have sight. Yeah. Oh, We're waiting for the can door. You do Still, the, the door, door is so closed. Yeah, I can it. go in front of them for the door, so they have to come through. So, so basically, what I'll what I'll say here, since Silas had his, like, basically, you could open the door. It would trigger Silas's lightning bolts. <laughs> But then everybody would be rolling initiative, mm -hmm. and then we'd be in initiative. Could, okay, would, and then that's could that be happening as I'm activating the spell on the sword? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then as he points yeah. it, I'm going to open the doors and yeah. activate, because they your, all have to make wisdom saves. Your shillelagh right. could go off because you're just preparing it yeah. in advance. Unfortunately for you, it's yeah. because you need sight. <laughs> okay. And right now the door is closed. Then I'll just be, I'll think about what I'm doing when my turn comes in initiative. Hey, Woo! thanks for the bits, Victoria. We appreciate it. Oh, hey, you. fairy bit mother. So we need to set up a, uh, <laughs> yeah. there's a hallway. Back. I tried. We're just going to take this and we're going to just stick it right back tried, on there. Guys. It's okay. This is what needed My to happen. My little halfling voice isn't intimidating enough. Me! Me <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 I tried. You will not survive. They had a couple of good rules. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first, the first time, really he was like right somebody. on the bubble, so he was a little scared. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Since they didn't know, I had to let the. Like, Ooh, I'm afraid someone out. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and just roll initiative right now while we reset this, and then we'll yeah. we'll do all the triggering and get everything set, and I'll place everybody on the map where they need to go. Okay. So. God, my rolls are awful. Oh, but where would you be hanging out? Would you be up by? Uh, the door, because you were... Yeah, Ogu was um, pretty close to the door. Uh, and Willow's probably up by the door. Oh, yeah. yes, thank you. I that, that guy's right at the door. Yeah. That guy's probably probably two spaces behind. We've been watching a lot of That Sesame. guy's probably like right behind somewhere in that hallway. And these right two guys here? are just... Yeah, so these two guys are kind of like at the end of the hallway, probably on, very, uh, probably on either side. Ooh, I'm about to wreck them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what you roll. I, mm. Oh, there's so, only six. Now, Ozzy's probably going to be on the right side of the hallway because he's standing in the next hall, to, though. He's standing next to his. Uh, oh, so his this is Ozzy? Yeah, that's Ozzy. Okay. He'd be standing right next to that. No, uh, uh, back to, right yeah. there. Okay. Yep. So that's their positioning. Uh, I'm going to change oh, the man. music. Oh, man, if we were quiet, it could have done subtle spell. They would have never known. <laughs> they, they seem to already know we were there. <laughs> you guys kind of you kind of <laughs> left a trail too yeah. <laughs> to lead them. Drops of blood, <laughs> broken coins, broken traps. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and put th these on there. Ozzy is on a 17. 
Ooh, okay, so I'm going before. His bodyguards are on an 11. And the two guys in the back are on two. Okay. Put right. Marlon at the bottom. He got a two. Uh, Marlon will go before the the cultists. I got a nineteen. He I got a, a whole three, six. Okay, hold on. Uh, so who's nineteen? Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Big Leaf is on a fourteen. Fourteen. Well, what were you? Six. Okay. Scratches. Ooh. Ooh. Twenty-five or twenty-two. I got a fourteen. Let's go ahead. Let's Why did you give this to me? You have so much room over there. <laughs> what did you have? She's uh, like, hold my purse, and I set it on the table next to her. <laughs> That's actually perfect. Uh, the battle cam, you can see the guard on the one side of the door and all the rest of you on the other side <laughs> of the door. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> right. The battle cam isn't activated on my screen. Give it a second. Yeah, you're, you're, it's, apparently it's, you're like 30 minutes behind us. It's a Twitch lag for some reason. Oh, okay. It's, oh, oh my no, god, it's, it's, <laughs> it's literally, it's an Obu lag. It's an Obu I'm lag. Already... I just got it too. Okay, okay so, so oh are you yeah. flinging the door open? It's as I'm casting my spell and opening the door wide. Okay. That so would trigger lightning bolt. All right. It's a Dex 13 save so for everybody on the right side of the hallway. Right side of the hallway. And you it's got 60, it. 100 foot long. <laughs> if it's five feet wide and I do it down in the middle, can I hit both sides? Yes. I don't think that's I'm it. Yeah. Yep. So I'll I can hit everybody. You can hit everybody <laughs> in the hallway. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That's what I want. All right. <laughs> okay. So I got to roll five times. Well, he's going to be. What were you casting? These two are going to be the cultists. Lightning bolt. Ooh. These are going to be his guards. Push everybody out again. And or no, you want to come closer? Oh. That's Dex thirty seven. Right? Yeah, Dex thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Oops, everybody failed. <laughs> so. I need some D sixes, please. How many? Uh, here. Oh, Kristen's coming right here. Okay. Oh, he's going to offer you those Dragon Court D sixes. No, that's good. I only need two. The two, no, the two cultists in the back, uh, one cultist succeeds, one fails. Okay. One guard succeeds, and one guard fails. Ozymandias succeeds. Mm, of course he does. Of course he does. All right, 8d6. So that is... As lightning energy shoots down the center of the hallway. <laughs> Flash of blue light. And they're all lights. immune! <laughs> <laughs> they're all robots from Mars! <laughs> 32. Yes. 36 points of lightning Beautiful. damage. Beautiful. Yes. 36 points of lightning damage. That's a lot. That is a lot. Um, also, uh, 36, so half is going to be 18, 18 points of damage. Also, anybody okay. within 10 feet that I choose takes an additional three points of lightning damage from my nephew's magic. Ooh. Or heart of the storm. He's not within 10 feet. As long as he's not within 10 feet. Yeah. No, there's only one guard. Okay, so as the, the, as the smoke and the flash of lightning clears, those two cultists in the very back are both dead. <laughs> uh, oops. Yikes. The one we're directly in front of the door? Yeah. Is extremely hurt. Yeah, did the three. Oh, he took the extra three. The extra yeah. three from Tempest Man or Storm. He's still extremely hurt, okay. <laughs> fried. Um, the one who is Ozymandias' guard still looks like he was able to jump out of the way and avoid most of it. Yeah. As the lightning energy is licking off of his his armor. Ozymandias is standing there, but looks wrecked, even though he did dodge. Sweet. And that brings us to the top of the round with scratches. All three need saving throws because we're all within 15 feet from my spell. Is it the start of their turn they take it? I think um, it happens on the cast. start. Of the when team. you cast the spell, yeah. And it, an affected and affected creature speed is halved in the area. When the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn, it starts their turn there. So he has to enter it to or trigger it or start okay. So it's going to happen on the start it's of like the turn. Yeah. The ones that are in it. Okay. okay. But that does bring us to scratches. I'm gonna yell, by the way. You can take the cultist off of the initiative order. (laughs) I'm gonna yell out. Just knock out Ozzy. 
You're gonna yell, just knock out Ozzy? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna yell, huh. knock out Ozzy? Yeah. Don't kill him. Don't. Fine. Uh, okay, scratches. I'll take a pot shot at the guard right in front then. Guard in front? You got it. Smack, smack. Don't talk back. <laughs> That'll hit. 23. Hits. Okay, so that's he's got an ally I'm within five feet because he's right in front of me. Yeah. Uh, Sneak attack. I love that these half-fucking paws are kitty paws on them. I'm saying for it. I gotta remember where we got those from. What was that girl shot? Is it Etsy? No. She has her own website. Ooh, she's fancy. Um, I wanna be 15 points of piercing damage. That guard takes an arrow to the neck and drops. Yes. Kill them all. My foot in the flag. And, uh, and scratch his turn? Yep. Copy, you're up. Okay. So, Copic's really not happy about being told to knock out. Just kill him. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Just trying. Copic's gonna. Uh, how beat does the bodyguard look? He looks like he's taking damage. He doesn't look. He still looks like he's got some. Forward to him. No, uh, Copic's gonna come running up. He's got the, uh... Sorry, he's gonna, gonna take one attack at the guard. Okay. And then basically just try to, uh, after one attack with him, then just try to sort of shoulder ram Ozzy's head into the wall to knock him out. For a, a shot attack? Yeah. Okay, sure. Go ahead and make your sword attack against the guard first. Oh, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, so that is a 19 to hit. That is. Okay, I'm going to burn a uh, superiority die. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to make a strength save as I'm going to try to disarm him. <laughs> That's a, a 7. Okay, so he is going to drop his sword. Okay. And then he's going to take a whole weapon Now, damage. he does have two weapons he's wielding right now. He has a long sword and a short sword. Oh, okay. Aiming for the big one. Okay, long swords on the floor. Okay. Clangs it. Slides down the I'm hallway. Oh. Okay, so that is. Wait. Uh, Superior already died. Oh. Of damage. Uh, do I need to break it apart for you? Nope. Okay, so that's uh, 15, 16, plus 4. Yeah, 20 points of slashing damage. All right, he's now looking pretty hurt. But it's still standing. As you carve into him, he, his, his long sword clangs and uh, spins and slides down the back of the hallway a little bit, out of his reach. You know, he's still on. Sure, I guess I'm hitting him again. Just hit him again. Sure. Yeah. All right. Kill him before he lays eggs. <laughs> Kill him before he kills back. Nineteen again. That hits. Okay. Um, you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna burn another superiority die. Make another strength save. I'm going for the short sword. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case he lives. I rolled a three the first time, I rolled a two that time. Hit so that was nice. short sword. Oh, okay, that's that wasn't my duck guys. Uh, yeah, that was my blue Faustin one. Eleven. That was 13, really nice, 14, 15. Uh, 19 points. He falls. Unconscious. <laughs> Ozzy Mendias. Confidence in his face. Is abruptly changed to fear. Ha ha ha! He's the only one left. Right? He's the only one left. Yeah. You can remove guards from the initiative order as well. Uh, Sorry. Ramsey. That was that lightning bolt roll, by the way. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, it's no, oh, well, and then oh, going to use I don't think the last you need the one. Anymore. And basically, going to get behind Ozzy Man, so he can't roll. You. you got it, Obu. It is your turn. Uh, now that you use... see the outcome of this, I'm fine. You're not sure that a wall of fire is going to 
be no. the right. Mm-mm. I'm just gonna cast calling. primal savagery and, and cantrip and just I'm gonna scratch it straight down his face. I'm planning. Are you to moving take, up to Ozzy Yeah, I'm gonna move up to him. I'm okay. planning on taking an eyeball out. Okay. That's my goal. Ow. You are so cool as a pirate. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, right. He hates hearts. Um, now he's gonna okay. be one. So you make your attack. Or a flanking. Yeah, you're so flanking, that's... so you have advantage. Oh. No, that's, uh, that's that's cockeyed. A, yeah, that's not so good. Was it cockeyed? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, I didn't I'm just see gonna it. 14. 14? Yeah. 14 hits. Okay, so then my damage is gonna be for primal savagery is 2d10. Is this d10? No, this is a d10. This is a d10. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Okay, so it's 16 points you of damage. You scrape at his face, and that look of fear turns to a look of unconsciousness <laughs> as he falls to the ground. Yes. And as quickly as we entered an encounter, yeah, for real. we are out. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. They, they always line up every time. It's acid <laughs> damage. Yeah. Yes. It's always bad for them. It's fine. We asked him, remember when yeah. we asked him about how his god would protect him from lightning? Yeah, didn't really. Apparently. No, he didn't, didn't know his really answer. Yeah. Uh, Copic's going around and searching the bodies for weapons. Technically, you could have said that you didn't kill him, that he could be just unconscious. Oh, he's just unconscious. But for now. That's that's always an option. Does yeah. he have, he's missing if, an as eye, As long right? as it's something that isn't like... I, I think if you rip an eyeball out of his head, that's... If, if, I, you, if you legitimately wanted to rip his eyeball out, he probably wouldn't I know, I just scratched through it. He still has it, right. it's just not just, usable. Okay, you got okay. it. He's, yeah, he's got a like cool... Swollen <laughs> shut. Yeah. Wonderful, you made Nick Fury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick now Fury S.H.I.E.L.D. going to come after us. Great job. I'm not a cat, though. Okay, cool. So I guess... Do we want to take him with us, or do we Oops. want to, like... Here goes that encounter. <laughs> He's not dead. He's not dead. Are we wanting to take him with us for bargaining? Why? I don't think it Maybe he'll turn into... Him. If we kill him, he turns into some giant monster, so let's just leave him as a... Yeah, maybe he's polyformed into this normal old man. Which means in an hour he turns into something else anyway. Well, then an hour That's later we'll said. figure it out. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just drag him. Just go back well, upstairs and see what happens. Okay, let's find out. I'm going to search Ozymandias. Okay. Weapon, stab, anything that's not uh, he clothing. Had a, he had a mace. Cute. Take, take the robes Cute. out. Literally, leave him in his Cute. skivvies. Okay. He had that medallion that was around his neck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Take it all. Okay, take it. Okay. Take his robes off and leave him in his drawers so we know. Didn't, he didn't really, he wasn't really carrying a lot on him. He just had like his robes, his mace. And, and that medallion, that's really all we had Wait, on Wait, can Obu take don't the robes from you? Yeah, don't wear it. Okay, Drop Obu starts off. ripping up the robes so she can have more, you know, cloth, because that's just who she is. Okay, yeah. She, she is now a really beautiful that purple. That so he's just what? he's just sitting there in his... his, his he's in his skinny t- t- Tidy whiteies. Yeah, he's in his skinny <laughs> Okay. Yeah, with no eyeball. And as she's ripping the cloth, I'm going to take a couple strands from her, mm-hmm. bind his hands. Okay. You bound his hands? He might be like, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good thinking. I'm go over at him and go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Reach out. Oh, I thought they were, oh, no. we were talking about me. Oh, we're talking about me. Oh, okay. About you. I did. I mean, I just did the uh, thing. So. Yeah, he's so intimidating. Look at him. Look at this guy. <laughs> just that's tied up the end and just crush the fingers. So, All right. Ow. I His guess we're gonna. Crushed. We're gonna go. This is making me uncomfortable. Where is unnecessary cruelty? Come on. He's gonna feel like garbage. Is this right here? It's that door. Yeah, yeah, there's another door that you guys did not go through. That was right there. You guys went through the secret one, not the one that was visible there. It's probably a ballista door. Let's just leave the way we came in. I'm gonna leave every dang door alone. (laughs) Okay. There might be something in there. We got it. Can I do the lay down method and open up the door again? Smack it. Was that the door that we went through? Yeah, you want to oh, the there's the poison gas last time, too. No, this oh, is the yeah. one. She's talking about the one here that we yeah, yeah, you guys never opened that one. Do you want to do it? I'll find it. I'm going to lay down on the floor. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to Smack gonna be the door open. Smack the door open? Okay. I'm going to hold my breath, too. Okay. You open up the door. It looks like the hall goes in and turns to the right. No ballista. Turns to the right. Turns guys, to the right? It turns to the right. Yep. Wait, how the heck does it turn to the... I'm gonna crawl 
in towards it and lean over and look. And immediately around that right hand corner, it turns to the left and kind of goes parallel with that hallway. There's like a shared wall there. It's just. Guys, is this worth continuing to look through? No. I don't think so either. Okay, I'm going to bound out of there. Bound out? Okay. Yeah, and then I close the door. I close the door. It wasn't. Hold on. Oh no, uh, What is it you're questioning? I feel like there was another didn't we say like there's another secret door? There was somewhere? a T intersection that we went to at there's the beginning. Something weird. And, and yeah, there were we more intersections. Right. Yeah. You guys went to the right. You guys saw the glimmer of something underneath the door and Copic jumped over the trap and slammed into the door, bringing you guys Also, the question. Yeah. We still don't get the bridal stone from Oh shoot! That's I don't right. think there, there is. is there one here? Because then the mural. Everybody make intelligence checks. Are we smart? I'm gonna apparently play. not because I just <laughs> now thought about it. Is there, are there any know. left? Any of those fancy dice left? There's one left. There's one. I, I want to take Use the it. advantage die. Wait, one last advantage die. Intelligence check. Intelligence check. Like, really good. Is advantage. that what you said? Intelligence check. She has a natural. Don't don't forget that you do have Jason's inspiration. Yeah, you've already you've already got it. Okay. So you can leave that one. I was just gonna say she's got the. You got, got headband, headband on. Headband of intellect gives yeah. you okay. like a plus five or something. She's I'm going to use my inspiration in as well. I'm not smart. So I'm fine. Yeah, I want a five. <laughs> five. Seven. Oh, we're good. Seven. I got a uh, 23. 23, yeah. Obu, you think that what you found mm -hmm. was probably what brought you here. Okay. Just Guys, I have a pretty good intuition or intellect here. I... We and, good. And with we that good, check, fam. you would also know the lead inside that room would mask a little bit of that magic. But as you were looking around and saw that some of that lead was peeling off the walls, mm -hmm. probably left a little bit of that magic free. So if somebody was trying to put out feelers of where these magical objects could be, oh, no. it might have pinged for them a little bit, like a radar. Mm -hmm. But it may not have given them the full extent of the power of the ping because it was in that leaded oh. room. Now, would okay. Silas know if keeping the treasure chest in the bag of holding, would that conceal it from... The, the bag of holding should conceal it because it's technically on another plane of existence. Right. That's okay. what I was... That's so you're okay. I tell them all mm -hmm. of this. I say, gonna, we yeah. good fans. But <laughs> don't take that out. You would know, but based on your check... That if this is like a constant, like if somebody's keeping track of these, like if it's like a radar and there's a ping. It goes out And then all of a sudden it's gone. Oh God. Oh God, guys. There's also that. Maybe we should slowly go like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's We're one good. person... No, and that's what you pay Bayleaf to do. He does that Bayleaf, the whole campaign. Bayleaf. <laughs> hey, Bayleaf. Maybe like Keep once every hour or something. Beep. No, because then they Beep. know where we are. Beep. Until we get off this island. We need, to just, we need to just go. We need to book it. How are we, we have to get off this island through well, all the skeletons. Let's go to the southern hemisphere, where uh, my man is with the uh, with the scary, what, what did he call it, with the thing that... Well, we're about getting out first. Help me. Yeah, we got. Oh, yeah, you, you you thought you yeah. mapped out your leg. Yeah, my map, my leg. Somewhere on the southern hemisphere, or something. My leg has a statue on the southern. Aren't those varicose veins? <laughs> <laughs> I wear control hose. It's not varicose veins. I heard a cleric call him that once. I take prescription. Cart. <laughs> Cart path to the city on your leg. Don't make fun of me. I'm very, I'm very sad about it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, let's book it. Copic to the forefront. You guys, Copic's taking off running. He was told to go. Trap over the rubble from where Copic had. He makes a quick left, jolts back into that room where you guys first met the Bodak, which yeah. you have not yet, which you have not seen or heard. Yeah, you it's no back idea. there somewhere. Or it's a rush. Room. You get to that room with the curtains and the dais or the the table that had the the lit brazier on it. The door leading out into the main complex that you first burst into when you found it is closed currently. And you're just in that small room that has the cur the curtains. Can I put my ear up to it, up to that door? Just here, out. Well, Copic was leading oh, the Copic's way. Copic's leading the way. Oh, Copic. 
So what would Copic do? I don't know what Copic would do. Copic, <laughs> Copic was told to get out of here fast. Yep. Copic's just... He's out. The door's unlocked. You open it up. And about 20 feet away from you, standing out in front of the door, is Augman. Oh, of course it is. With his shield and his spear. Of course it is. And he's smiling at you. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the. Let's not yeah. them too. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Nice. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go outside. I'll be big. Oh, ooh, that's a good one. Or just do and it here in the ground. Do it here. He'll break the ceiling and then it'll just all cave in and we can all get out. That's fine. I understand this. This is perfect. This is logic. It's about, the time, about time your shiny head came out of there. And large. Been waiting copy. for this. Yes. Marlin. The large on comic? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> get up, grabbing the sword, get ready. <laughs> All right, here's what I want everybody to do. I want everybody to roll this Yeah. Because they set up there. They weren't going to try to listen to you. Oh, that one from our own. I'm going to need to basically redo all that. So if you guys want to take that off yeah, of that's, the, that's the charter. That's not great, but not horrible. And just set it up. I know what you're going for. Well. Yeah. I've got this whole map like map or set, so we don't have to oh, okay. worry about. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can just okay. move that on the floor and just Six keep for it. Six for Obu, twelve for Willow. That's where I kept my water. Okay. Ben likes it. Twelve for Willow. What for? What for you? Like two more inches oh, over here. Crap. Ah. One for Marlin at the bottom. How long has it oh, taken plus. us to sprint up this far? Man, it's not long. He it's not long. far. Less than ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Probably three minutes. I still got seven minutes left for my dang spell. Woo! Five times. So they've rearranged the room. They've put all their boxes and stuff in different Great. places. And they've put large crates in front of the door leading up. Boxes. They think boxes. And stuff you were right here. And here was Ogman waiting for you. What copy get for initiative? Uh, and you can see the survivors that are left. Are all, they've got the table. Okay. And they're all like hiding behind a different... Scratches is uh, things Seven. there. Uh, Just hold up a knife to Ozzy Mendez's neck. Okay, scratches is eight. <sighs> what did Bayleaf okay. get? Wait, I'll roll for Bayleaf. I'll roll for Bayleaf. Uh, he I'm got a 17. Uh, Bayleaf got a 12. And here are these initiatives. I've got Ogman going on 18. I know where. The Acolytes go oh, on 10. Okay. And Odium is on 9. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> totally is. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put our battle cam on there. So if you guys want to yes. check out, that's actually, ba, 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 that's ba, ba, actually ba, ba, pretty ba, good ba, right there. Da, 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 da. Nice aim. You said it. Nice aim. That's DC man music. I can't. With, I think. I think anything. since we've been waiting for this encounter between uh, Ogmund and Copic for like three months. Yeah. I think this deserves battle music. Uh, Track extinction, ex extinction level event. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I also have to go potty. Go. I just okay. thought everybody Great. should know. I must go. That means you have to move. Ooh, that is some music. That sounds like a you problem. That's, that, uh, <laughs> it'll become an us problem in a minute. <laughs> Whoa. Just go under the table. No, no I meant crawl under the table. I was about to say, oh. Ow, I think I just screamed. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I just scraped the mess out of my leg. Oh, be careful, please. Okay. Augment's first. Oh, now, did Marlin's spell go off or no? His spell would have went off, so you're very large. I do in have... Large. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, I'm going to look up the deets again. I think it's at a plus four. D4. It's not the it's a plus four. I do have... Here. Go. Enlarge. Lord Rage! <laughs> you can put that on there. Now you're better than him. <laughs> you're you were already big. bigger than him, but now you're big. <laughs> Doubles the size and all dimensions and weight. It's multiplied by eight. That's crazy. Yeah, I think he adds a d4 to all his damage rolls. You have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Ooh. The target's weapon also grows to match the new size. Plus 1d4 extra yeah. Yeah. So, just grapple. <laughs> His turn, he gets ready. 
that slot out of his shield, spear slides into it. it. Looks like he's getting into a stance. What a nerd. He just looks at you and smiles. It's about time, big boy. <laughs> big boy. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does on this turn. Really? He appears to be holding on to something. Just smashing like a bug. <laughs> 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 okay, how about I just get a mark off? Is there already used to two of them? Okay. Yeah, so, uh. <laughs> Actually, so, Copic is gonna move within the door. 5, 10, 15. You're large, by the way, so you take a push. Oh, yeah, that's right. So go, I put, put yourself in like a. Yeah. The minute you get, the minute you get into range with him, he held his attack. He yeah. unleashes on you. Okay. All right. <laughs> so he's he gets to make three attacks against you. He's gonna make two with the spear and one with the shield bash. He's gonna start with the shield bash. As he as you come near, he just goes, uh, just tries to jab the the, the shield into you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll the two. That's only an eight. So he's gonna miss. Okay. You shrug it off to the side, and then he's as gonna... he misses, burning the superiority that I use my reaction to hit him. <laughs> okay, you got him. Nineteen. Nineteen is going to hit. Okay. This was a lot of attacks in <laughs> one six seconds. One, two, it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, the split second. Yeah. It, they're cranky. There's a D4 somewhere under there. Yeah, don't step people. on that. I'll look for it afterwards. You see your big toe. Yeah, I know, I was feeling around with my bare foot. Oh, okay. So that's 10, 14, 18, 22 points of damage. 22 points of on damage. On a reaction. You want a reaction? Yeah. <laughs> so you said 22? Yep. Okay. He then takes his two spear attacks as you slash across them. These are going to be... That one's probably going to hit. That one's probably going to miss. That one definitely misses. 19 or better. Uh, 23. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit. So, 26. You take 12 points of piercing damage. As he catches okay. you in the side with the second one, as you fling the other one off the off to the side, these ha this happen like at a rapid pace. As you watch a large copic enter the room, face to face with Ogman. Um. Okay. Oh, and actually, it that was just your reaction, so it's now your turn. Like you can finish off your turn. All right, that's. Uh, yeah, um, that's right. Um. Okay. So I am going to. Basically, try to grab him and throw him into the guy to my left in those boxes. Okay. Go ahead and make a... This will be athletics, contested by his. Advantage. Yeah. Oh. 25? Uh, you succeed. Number <laughs> four. <laughs> so you toss him over there. He right. slams into Which the other ones? guy. This guy over here and oh, into that guy. Okay. The other guy like bobbles back a little bit. Go ahead and roll a D4 uh, improvised okay. damage for me. You really Can I get the extra D4 on this for a strength based attack? From yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Really well, I think it's it. specifically for weapons, right? Huh? The, sh the enlarged. Oh, I think it only yeah, makes the D4 for the weapons. weapons. That's still four. Four points. Because okay. he's not enlarged, just your weapon is enlarged. Okay. Fair enough. Four points of damage. You got it. And now I still have my second attack? You still have your second attack. Is he prone on the ground now? He is not prone. He just got shoved over there and smacked into the guy. He's, ca he's catching himself to his feet. Doesn't look like it did a whole lot. Just kind of forcing him around. Walk over and just come right down on him. All right, you got it. Mm, nope. 11? 11. Nope. He dodges out of the way quickly. He's got... He's agile. He may not be quite as strong as you are, but you can see that he's had training. He knows how to fight. Why are you <laughs> bugger, aren't you? Yeah. Do you think? Uh, I do. Willow with Bailey on deck. 
Yeah. You're hearing all this commotion coming from the other side of the room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Still good. Okay. Um. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Bye. Just um, That's what I'm gonna do. Shape shift and leave. Just get your bag. Then leave. Did we leave his body down there? Did we no, we dragged. Drag. We dragged out of there. Yeah, oh, you but you were just the first person that came through the door. So you were the only person they saw. And Ogman just eyed you. Thanks. Nice. Marlin <laughs> cast a spell and it was all. <laughs> so do we tell them now? Tell them what? That we have Ozzy. That we have Ozzy and the drop their weapons. You can say it in their brains. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it in Ozzy's brain. Okay. We have Ozzy. Drop your weapon. We have your leader. Okay. You drop your weapon. If you want him to be. Ozzy screams out like this angry scream. I'll drop my weapon when this one's dead. Oh, okay. Wow. You're mean. He's I maintain angry. concentration. Okay. Concentration. Oh, spirit, spirit guardians. guardians. Oh yeah, spirit guardians. Yeah, it's still. Can I see out the door? The door is covered. Oh yeah, you. Well, yeah, you can see. Can you see out the door? Where's she at? She's like right here. Yeah, it's those two squares yeah. right here. Okay. You can see a couple guys hiding behind tables. And, uh, but I can't see those two. Yeah, you can. You can see the guys in the back. If you can see over here, you probably can't see yourself over here. Alright, yeah, you can see everybody pretty much. And I'll throw like... ice knife at Ogman. Ogman, you got it. Yeah. I don't like him, he's mean. Where is his Oh, that's so close. Mm. 11. 11 is going to miss. He blocks it with his shield. Boom. Ice knife explodes. explodes. Yes, it does. Each creature within five feet must succeed. Dex. Dex. Dex throw. 15. 15? I'm oh, sorry. Guy next. 15 and Dex is going to fail. Fail. Both oh, fail. Crap. Are you that close? <laughs> um, because you threw him. Yeah, and then, then I walked over and him. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Should have hit the other guy instead of you. How much damage? Bottom. 2d6. 2d6? Okay. Nice. Ten. Ten points of damage. If you still got concentration. Barely. Barely? Ten. Ten? Ten. Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah. You good? Anything else? That's it. That's it? Well, no, I'll use uh, shillelagh. Shillelagh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Now you're shillelagh up. Bayleaf. He really doesn't have much that he can do. He's pretty, uh, he's going to taunt that guy behind the table back there. And that guy fails the saving throw against his taunt. So that guy behind the table has disadvantage on anything he tries to do until the start of Bayleaf's next turn. Him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are you hiding back there for? He would know all their names too. Donnie. <laughs> Vio! Stop hiding! Show your face, yeah. you coward! So he just taunts, and that's all he does on his turn. Bringing us to. Who's on the Bailey? Uh, Acolytes. Acolytes. Those are the guys in the very back. Yeah. Are they within your spirit guardians? No, uh, it's 15. Well, 15 feet from me, so 5, 10, 15, nope. Nope. Okay. The first one is going to cast. The one that's closest up there is going to cast Bless on Augmund, the guy behind Augmund, and Odium. Yep. Yeah, we can get rid of Odium. Yep. Yeah. Odium's not. I hope he doesn't have magic strings in my head. That's Here, you guys can bless those guys. And that was a spell. First level. And he's just gonna then he's yeah. just gonna stay there. The other That's acolyte. Your job. I'm dealing with pointy sword guy. The other acolyte is going to use his bonus action to cast Sanctuary on Augmund. This is ridiculous. Stop buffing him. Stop being friendly. <laughs> no, that's actually a good thing. Oh, it is. 
Sanctuary on Augment, and then he is going to shoot a uh, Sacred Flame at Willem. I need a dexterity saving throw as he starts to cast incantations and it's going to hit you. Eight. You take eight points of radiant damage as you're engulfed by this divine light. And that ends both of their turns. They are going to remain in cover. Yeah. Who's that? Who's after acolytes? Uh, that is uh, Odium. Odium. Right. So who's redhead over here then? He hasn't gone yet. I don't see him on the list. Oh, he's supposed to be on there. He was in my last. Uh... There's just one more him. back here. Yeah. Is it guards? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, who's on? Is there anybody? There's where, guards right here. This guards. Is Eleven. 11. Where, where are we at right now? He would have gone. Um, we're okay, at... just put him at the very bottom. Let's we'll say he goes at the bottom. He sneezed. I'm going to pretend uh, he was a one. Odium. Is Odium within uh, 15 nope. feet of you? Nope. Okay. Thing. Odium is blessed. He is going to cast Spiritual Weapon, and he's going to put it right beside Willow. Since Willow is over there, and it's going to make a strike against Willow. Since Willow is the only person you can see. 13 to hit? Meets. Meets it? All right, that's going to hit. You need that so armor. Take... Yeah, I should have given you the armor. Huh? Actually, wait a second. That might not be true. That's actually only a 12. Here we miss. Yep, I added one too many. So the spiritual weapon misses, but that is a bonus action. So he's also going to use Sacred Flame against you as well. So I need you to make another dexterity saving throw as he tries to engulf you in radiant light. 13. 13 is going to save. Yay. Would your so, would wear mithril armor? You would dodge out of the way. Would would wear mithril armor? Odium's turn is done. Bring us to Scratches with Obu on deck right. and Silas on deck. So Scratches you have a in the back. <laughs> Scratches in the back. You have a present. Mm -hmm. I have a present. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what now? What's wrong with you? I see what he's doing. <laughs> Climbing through everything. <laughs> no, we have not. I have. I haven't gotten hit once. You it's have. Gonna use it on me. Yeah. Because you you shoot from the bar and you. And I was the first one to shoot down the hallway, and they all died. Thank you for the <laughs> game master inspiration. I will use it wisely. So Scratchers is gonna. I give stab. him anti-inspiration. Scratchers is going to stab Silas in the back. <laughs> and he just stabbed all of us. He yes. doesn't know that. Ha! <laughs> uh, I'll take a pop shot at the guy behind the table. Uh, the guy behind the table? Just, yep. Which, oh, that guy? Okay. Yeah. He does have a bonus to his his armor class. So. I have faith in him. Yeah. Okay, yep. you got it. I might be a lean. Not your character. You. Oh, me. Yeah. Just you. Just me. Ready? Oh, going to throw a fireball. It's fine. You don't know that. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Metal shot. Sticks into the table. Single digits. Oh, yeah. Not going to hit. Hits the, uh, and scratches Sacrifice. the move, or? Um, I, and he probably won't get any closer than right up beside Willow at the moment. Sure. I'm just not 100% sure what's going on, and still... You got it. Um, Obu with Silas on deck. Okay. Obu is going to walk up until she can see a little bit over here. Yeah, you have to go outside the door there. Yeah. There right you go. about here. Yep. And she is going to cast Fireball right here. So that'll be these two guys and this I think it's guy. a 30 foot It's 20 radius. foot radius. 20 foot. So that means 40 foot. A 40 foot tall. Diameter. Here back there, oh, 20 so. foot radius. Yeah. Radius. Okay, so be, if I was here, so it'd be one, two. One, that's, two. Ten feet. that's ten. These are five feet. You have to yeah. literally like fire back here. Oh no. Okay, then I want to fire way back here so I don't hit anybody else okay. except for those. Three. So you can you can have it hit the wall back there, mm -hmm. and then it'll only come out the twenty feet. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, hit the corner. Yeah, if yeah. you hit 
Yeah, you if you hit like back in this wall, it should hit all three of them. Toast all the about the, it goes around corners and around objects. Would hit those other two. I don't think it'll no, get fine. the other it, two guys. Uh, right. No, it get right that. close, so it'll hit all these boxes. All but... Right, Obu holds up the staff <laughs> and golfs into the corner. Do I have to roll for that, or is that just they? They roll. Right? It's a different okay. roll. Okay. You roll your damage. Okay, and that's 8d6. May I have 8d6? How many do I have? Six right here. Here's three. I have Thank four. Thank you. I'll just, I'll take the six that he has. Um, oh, and then two. I'm sorry. And then, since these are it's all It's like balls. a lightning bolt. Okay, so each like creature must make, yeah. a, make a dexterity saving throw, and my spell safe DC is 15, I think. It should say right on there. It should say? Dex, 15. Yeah, okay, that, perfect. And that busts through Ogman's sanctuary. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, Sorry, did anyone, did anyone <laughs> pass, fail? Um, Odium passed. Okay. Augman so and the other guy failed. Okay, so let's find out what they take. Aw. Five. Okay, I can't count, so do not judge me. <laughs> this is ten. This is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve, that's twenty-two, right? Help me. Twenty-two? Ten. Fifteen. 22, yep. 22 for the ones who failed, and then 11 for the one who passed. 22 for the ones who failed. Okay. Okay, and then all of your all of your things are belong to you. All their augments belong to me. The, uh, the one guy next to Augman looks really, like, he definitely looks hurt. He's scorched and burned. Augman... He's still got, he's got a lot of vitality in him, and Odium is still up. He definitely looks singed. Okay. But he's still up as well. After taking that fireball. I'm just gonna look up. Ugh, smell that burning hair! <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of those crates and stuff now are, like, on fire. Yes. Oh, I got some matches in the car. You want me to go light them on fire? <laughs> what would you like to do with your bonus action? My or bonus action, I would like to... I think you only move 15 feet, maybe? I would like to back up. Mm -hmm. Well, no. It, no, I'm just going to stay where I am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Silas with Marlin on deck. Uh, I'm going to... I don't like this wizard man in the back. He thinks he knows magic. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This is 5, 10... Yep. Can I, like jump up on some boxes since it's only 10 feet you can make an acrobatics check just one box just kidding i don't want to do that <laughs> if i go like back here can i still see him or does he have cover he does have cover but you can see him i have spell sniper okay <laughs> what does that do <laughs> you ignore I I ignore cover. cover okay <laughs> fine yeah, I brought inspiration too. Nice. Oh, thank you, Sarah. To the Sarah. Teenage Mutant Ninja yeah, yeah, Sorcerer yeah. Turtle. <laughs> That's nice, Sarah. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to cast uh, Witch Bolt at third level. Oh, boy. Um, and that is... What does Bardic Inspiration do? Uh, it gives you another D4, Bardic right? Inspiration, you can use a D6 after you roll and add it to... Add it. Okay, and I can uh, use it anytime, right? Anytime you want. Okay. You, may, you want to burn the other Brobo? Yeah. You're doing a, th want, want you're doing a third oh, level. Third level. Oh, here. here we go. Shoot this lightning across the room. Yeah, I needed it. Plus a D6. You have a D6 if you yeah. want to use it. 14. Hits. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was real close. All right. So, uh, 3D12. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I'll go in three. Um, yeah, 12 points of lightning damage. 12 points of lightning, okay. And then it is latched on. And latched on. <laughs> lightning shoots across. You can see, uh, Copic, you can see the strand like going across from behind you. <laughs> lightning attached <laughs> from one side of the room to the other. Anything else you'd like to do, Silas? No. Good right there. All right, Marlin's up. Oh, gosh, I need to play. And he's still concentrating, I believe, on. He's actually going to stay within the door frame as long as he can. Marlin, so we know as long, I think he has stuff. to be able to see. Topic for the concentration, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I, don't know. Um, no, I think he just is... has to see him when he first casts. Okay. It. Yeah. Um, he's going to 
hang out in the room, and if anyone tries to attack him, he's gonna just do a cantrip. Uh, he doesn't have it. You know he has a shocking grasp. Is he has he lightning lure. Lightning lure. Okay. Um, yeah. If anyone makes an attack, well, that one. That's only a short distance. Ten. Uh, it's his. No, he's just gonna hold his a regular attack with his spear in case somebody comes up to him. Okay. All right. That know. guy behind the boxes. He's going to attempt, he's going to, no, over here, this guy. It's blessed. He's going to jump over that side of the boxes. He's going to make a wisdom save first. He is within 15 feet of me. He's within. Right. Uh, that's a fail. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so he is, I'm going to pull this up. And they are, his movement is also halved within this radius. Yeah, he's only going to be able to move, like, to the other side of those boxes anyway, based uh, on so doing this move. I have grabbed the wrong guys. These are not D8s. It's okay if it doesn't fit perfectly. It's all good. <laughs> it had to. I was very gentle. Okay. Sarah, the bardic inspiration definitely helped. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is seven points of radiant damage. Seven points of radiant. Yeah, he's looking rough. He jumps. He's going to jump over to the other side, and he's going to make... Uh, two, actually, he's going to use all three of his attacks against Obu. Since Obu shot a fireball in there at all of them. <laughs> two long sword, and he has a short sword in his offhand. And the first attack, I'm going to use my Game Master Inspiration, and I'm going to use it against you. Why are you so mean? Because <laughs> you just fireballed him. That's a natural 20. And a natural one. <laughs> Thank goodness. But that was with advantage because I used my game master. How spirit. many points do I take? You take, you take all the points. You take all the points. No, let's oh, see. No. You take all the damages are belong to you. I Thank rolled you. really bad. Oh, Only forty. Oh, you take seven points of slashing damage on a natural twenty. The second long sword attack is only going to be. An 11 to hit you? No, no. And then the offhand short sword attack is going to be a 17. That does hit me because I am um, I'm using the staff at, the point, at this point. You can use the staff one-handed. Oh, then yeah, no, it doesn't hit and me. It doesn't hit. Clanks off of your uh, shield. Oh. You so, long as you, so long as you don't switch to two-hand grip? Nope, yep. nope. Yep, but you only do, if you like actually physically attack with it, you only do a d6 damage. Oh, okay. With one hand. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the end of his turn. That's all he can do. Oh, wait, he was blessed. Oh, what does that mean? He gets a d4. So the first miss would have been a... It still would only been a 12. Okay. The second one would have... Uh, it wouldn't have hit. Yay! So one. Okay. He had to roll a two to hit you. That ends its turn, bringing us to the top of the order, I believe. Uh, we are back. Uh, that was the guard. Yeah. And we're back at yeah. Ogmund. Ogmund. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ogmund. That guy. Ogmund. 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 Uh, three attacks again. He's going to start with a shield bash. You, he tries to bash you, and you just push the shield back. <laughs> he's unable to, to drive that into you. Now he's going to make two spear attacks against you. One's a natural 20. The other one is a... 24? Yeah, those are both in. Okay, so the spear does, on the natural 20... Fourteen points of piercing damage, and the second spear does. Oh gosh, another fourteen points. I rolled better <laughs> on two dice than I did four. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and then Augmund um, just all right stands oh, his ground. He needs a wisdom save. A wisdom save, sanctuary. Uh, it's a 17. You can no, save. Oh, you no damage? Uh, or half? Just check. I think it's half. Might, yeah, it might be half. Six, 12, 12. It's spicy in here. I'm going to fail to see. Yeah, I don't know what's in the Yeah, half. It's okay. 
Sorry. It's because it's, it's intense. It is yeah, it's intense. It's, it's been an intense. intense. Uh, it's because the fireball I cast. Sorry. 14 guys. points of damage right back at you. So, <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. You got it. <laughs> Thanks. So can I can I hold him? Yeah. He's a Copic, you're up. With Willow yeah. on deck. He's a little bedraggled, uh, I will say. Bedraggled. He's got, <laughs> he's got some, uh, you know, <laughs> hey. ugly. some tiredness lines here. Yeah. He's, He's so, had a rough life as an owl bear. Crow's feet. Uh, it's a, it's first thing first. Feet um, on an owl bear. As a bonus action, I'm going to use my uh, what is it called? My second wind. Okay. Oh, he has little Can't ears. Can't believe him fine for some reason, but. Oh, there it is. I think it's a D10 plus yeah. your fighter level. Or... <laughs> okay, not bad. That's eleven back. Eleven back. Okay. Let me throw all this away. No. There you are. And then you're just going to start wailing on him. Okay. Before you do, uh, Augment is sanctuary. No, he's not. Oh, because he attacked. He attacked. He attacked. <laughs> he's no longer sanctuary. You're, you're true. Yeah, you're right. It's true. You have to erase it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is yours. Right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, gotcha. Thank you. That was our last D20. 15. 15. Our last D20. He deflects it with a shield. Wait, what happened to the Okay. 16. Hits. Uh, no. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wait a second. He's going to use his reaction to parry. And he takes the, the spear and pff, is able to just hold you from being able to strike down on top of the okay. thing. So his reaction is spent. Okay, then. You're going to be that way? <laughs> Action surge. There you go. Two more coming out. <laughs> Ooh, the first ooh, one's gonna hit. Ooh. Sarah wants to remind you of the D4 on damage, too, in chat. Mm-hmm. Oh, you. yeah, from a large. So that is uh, 26 to hit on the first one. Yeah, that hits. Nope, so one hits. So one of those one two hit. There you go. One out of four. One out of four, I can count, really. Okay. Um, I need a strength saving throw. I'm trying mm-hmm. to disarm him. Disarm? Let's see how the rubber ducks do. Rubber ducks. Rubber ducks are a little too high rolling. 18? Yeah, we'll save. Save. Steal those from you in the middle The rubber duck, the duck ones roll really yeah. well. For now. They'll betray you. Ten. They all do. All ducks do. Okay, that is 20 points of damage. Ooh. Okay. 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 Ooh. That end, it uh, fell in my shoe. <laughs> Did it actually fall one. in and my opposite. shoe? Uh, right. Actually, you're not going to circle around him and throw a sandwich myself in between him and the other guy. Mm-hmm. You got it. You, uh... <laughs> yeah, your turn is. Ta-da. There it is. You found it. Willow is up with Bayleaf on deck. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to use First. Frostbite on Augment, which is a constitution saving throw. For Augment. Uh, that's gonna fail. Good. Uh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> he's gonna take two d6 cold damage, and he will have disadvantage on his next weapon attack roll. Ooh. That's six points of damage. Six points of damage. And disadvantage on his next attack. That's it. Okay. They leap. Up on the deck. Bailey, up on the uh, he's 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 like tapped. He doesn't really have much he can do. I can see it. Hot off boy on the corner. He's gonna step out and try to vicious mockery the the acolyte that's holding bless. And try to get rid of that spell. <laughs> Unfortunately, he makes a saving throw. So he ch- tries to mock and taunt those guys out there to try to break their concentration on their spells, but he's unable to do so. Okay. Bringing us to the, who's under Bayleaf? That is Acolytes. Acolytes. Those guys are going to go. The one is continuing to maintain concentration on Bless. So he's going to use his. She's going to throw another Sacred Flame, this time at Silas. Dexterity saving throw for Silas. I'm so dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a 11. 11 fails. 
Four you months. take five points of radiant damage. That's the first one I got hit. Three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Does Witch Bolt, is it concentration if you're holding it on I'm to? Sure or? It is. I don't I don't know if it is or not. Uh, yeah, it's concentration. So Witch Bolt. I don't think it is. It is. There is a concentration of one minute. Okay, you go ahead and make a concentration. Concentration here. Constitution save. Oh, <laughs> with uh, you got to beat a ten to keep your going. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. You're saved. You so still. How many times did Augment hit me? Once or twice last round. Okay, two. 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 Twice. Yeah. Um, the other one's gonna cast the Sacred Flame on Obu. Dexterity saving throw. What now? What? Sorry, I was not yeah. paying attention to anything. <laughs> one of them's casting a spell on you. Cast a spell on you. <laughs> Eighteen and fifteen on the dice. So what am I doing? I'm doing a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity yeah. saving throw. I didn't save that throw. That was a six. The six. You take uh, thirty. Two was... points of radiant damage. Yay! Wow. I can do that. <laughs> As you're engulfed with radiant flame, that ends so the good. acolyte's turn, and I think Odium's next. Odium yep. is next. Okay. Odium. You're not need your wisdom save. Wisdom He's save. Within fifteen feet of me. Uh-huh. You got it. Wisdom save. Natural one. Okay, so he fails. So he takes four. Wait, he's, he is blessed, but I don't think it's going to matter. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. 16 points of radiant damage. Go ahead and describe how he goes down. Uh, so it is... You guys had sort of seen as Topic activated this sword and these sort of almost grayish forms came up out of the ground. Lightly, lightly glowing with a bright, radiant light. Mm-hmm. As they've been sort of circling around Copic this whole time, mm-hmm. a couple of them swarm in and just start reaching forward and just reaching out towards him and just start battering down on him. Mm. You can take him off. He's gone. Yeah. And your witch bolt. <laughs> one of the- on the- <laughs> you did the majority of the damage on that one. He was looking rough. <laughs> And he is no longer blessed. Are y'all able to see? Um, yeah, yeah so Odium, Odium doesn't get a turn. No, he's, he's not the one who cast it. He's out. This guy is. Oh. Yeah. Scratches. And then Obu on deck. What would Scratches do? Take another shot at the guy in the far end? Sure. Fire away. Actually, I rolled like that last time. You rolled this time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I rolled like crap after this time. Obu. Okay. Yeah, another uh, arrow on the table. 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch is getting, um, he, he hasn't had a very good go of this whole arc of this adventure. <laughs> it's, it's, it, um, he's trying to write his name in arrows on the table. <laughs> oh, you're up. <laughs> Fireball at those guys now. Another one? Okay. Yeah. Fireball Second at those guys? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be right here, so then it gets this. Burn all the oats. Okay. I'm going to burn all the oats. Go ahead and Copy roll your beans. damage first before I even roll saves for these I would guys. like. Um, six, uh, thank you, four, yeah. and one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, I got them. Five, eight. Eight. Yes, thank you. The tiny ones are adorable. Oh, wait, let me do this one. Instead. Okay, three, six, nine, yeah. 11, thir- 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 points of... 18 total? 18 total. Alright, I actually get to make a save for one of these guys. 18 fire! Where's my other one? I'm losing chicken. I told you that. That other side of the room is engulfed in fireball. This one, my other one, and they both. Both of those guys destroyed. Ah! That's right. Hooray! It smells in here. And it smells like burning flesh. Oh, that's glorious. (laughs) Now, Bless is gone. Anything that they were holding. Gone. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Obu? I never get Obu would like to say, ha ha! Okay, you keep track of your charges from your Yeah, staff. I have four left. All right. And then Obu would like to switch out her fireball staff thingy thing for her scimitar and her okay. shield. You got there it. There we go, shield. Sure. Scimitar. My scimitar. And that brings us to Silas with Marlin on deck. Uh, I barely uh, use it. I'm gonna barely, run barely up barely to uh, what's his name? What's he asking? Oh, that guy! Oh, 
Augmentus. Is that okay? Yeah, Augment. No, yeah. Augment. Ozzy's yeah, the Augment unconscious dies. guy, and you guys just like, I guess Wait. it just flopped on the floor right over there. <laughs> Augment was like the yeah. fighter guard type, the captain yeah. of the guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I, anyways, I'm going to take my shock staff and just whap him across the face. Ow. Okay, I believe you have advantage because you're flanking Good. with Kavik. The Jolly Grey Giant. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> The jolly gold giant, my armor man. Uh, 15. 15 on Ogman with advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, you miss. Yeah. He actually like feels you coming and brings his shield up as you bring the shock staff down. <laughs> I tried. Bonus action, anything? No. No? Okay. I'm good. Marlon is go. Marlon's go. Marlon. Oh, I'm so um, sorry. I hate it when people make fun of me. Sees Silas attacking with his staff and he's like, Oh, I guess so. And he's gonna run up and get over here too. And hey, Wait, this is a bad guy too, right? That is a bad guy yeah. too, yeah. Are you gonna whap? Whap that guy with the staff? Okay, you got it. Oh, wait, those were the acolytes. Or I think he has right? a spear, right? The acolytes yeah. are now dead. Yeah, both acolytes Plus are now dead. Plus one yeah. hit. Oh, Nat 20, look at him go! Nat 20 for Marlon? Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> so that is. I think it's 2d6. It's... Or unless he uses it with two hands. I, think I would two. imagine he does it with two hands because yeah. he doesn't have anything in his other hands. So it would so. be 2d8? Yeah. Three points of damage! Three points of damage! Plus one, four! Four! Woo! <laughs> he tried. He stabs that one on the leg. That, that guy's always look, looking pretty rough, and he's starting to has this panic in his face as he's being surrounded by all of you. Oh, that spiritual weapon is gone too, by the way. Oh, as yeah. soon as Odium yeah. uh, is destroyed. Yep. All right, that in Marlin's turn. Yeah. That brings us to that guy, and he's got three people around him. Who's he going to attack? Just lay the down. Child. Just lay down and die. He actually attacks at Marlin. Uh, so there's two long swords and a. Actually, he's gonna do two long swords against Marlin, and then swipe with a short sword at Obu. Oh. So Marlin is going a natural twenty. Oh. And then, oh. a, and then a twenty-two. Marlin's gonna die, guys. <laughs> Marlin's gonna drop concentration. Oh, that's so much more. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's that too. So d eights. For Marlin, I will the two and a one. He's gonna die. Six points of damage. Oh no. And the second one does nine points of damage. Oh, okay. So the, the non crit was more powerful. Short sword to Obu. Mm. Is. Miss. Roll the two. Mm. You duck out of the way. Ending his go. Bring us to the top of the order. <laughs> Augmented. Augment is, he's just in a fury at you. Uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save. He's being pelted. 18. And a save. Half damage. Oh, oh that is eight. I can't tell. That's a five. 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 That is 12 points of radiant damage. 12 radiant? Hmm. Ouch. Well, 12, then half, right? Right. Half, so, so six. Six total. He has disadvantage on his shield bash because of what Willow did. So he tries to shield bash you first with disadvantage. I rolled two twos. Ah. <laughs> so he's gonna miss. You just hold out your massive hand again and stop him from. Did Marlon make concentration oh, checks? Yeah. Make see, let's see if he's actually still massive. Nope. One's a five. Uh, all right, you're no longer enlarged, unfortunately. All right, you're a regular boy now. <laughs> and here comes the, the two hand comes spears. <laughs> Oh man! Spears, one's a natural 20. The other one is an 18. The 18 will miss. 18 misses. So assuming, uh, so assuming he doesn't do something to uh, wipe me out, I'm gonna attack him back using my. Uh, the natural 20 does. Six. Six. 21 points of piercing damage. Okay, I'm still so I'm using my reaction to swing back at him. Okay. Yeah, I rolled green in a bit. 16. Harry. 
uses a reaction, <laughs> deflects it with the shield. <laughs> That ends his turn. That brings us to you, Coffee. Kill him. Okay. I want to get out of here. Four <laughs> uh, yes. I said it two, Yeah. Two more attacks coming right back at him. Mm-hmm. Come on, little dragon, don't let me down. There we have. Wow. One misses. Uh, the other one is a 23, though. Yeah, that definitely hits. I have advantage on these, don't I? Because I'm flanking him. You do? Mm-hmm. You can reroll that cycle. Actually, you can. No, just roll the damage on the first one first. Yeah. Then so you I can have to really step forward to hit him. Okay, so. 14 points of slashing damage on the first attack. Ouch. Second one. Yeah, not bad. 17. 17 hits. Uh, 12 points of slashing. Describe how you take him down. That's it. And just comes down with the first slash and just drags through and manages to sort of almost cut a little bit into the shield. Mm-hmm. I almost then wanted to live just so he can live with the embarrassment of being beat. And then <laughs> pulling it out. <laughs> Willow, aren't you chaotic? <laughs> no, Reverse the sword over and bring it almost like a stab right down into the shoulder. Like literally piercing right down through the shoulder. Yeah, he looks up at you, and you see his eyes get wide. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it just drops that. Does he gurgle blood? Yeah, he probably gurgles, gurgles a little bit. Just wondering. It spits on him. <laughs> that ends his turn. Nice. Ends your turn, right? Yep. Uh... Willow, you're up. There's only one guy left, and he looks very hurt. I'm just going to walk up and smack him with my shillelagh. You got it. Get out. (laughs) All right, people. 13. 13 misses. It's so busy right over there. It's hard to get a good clean shot. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a hard time. It's been a bit of a time. It's been a rough day. Any bonus actions? No. Okay. Bayleaf uh, is gonna just viciously mock him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he fails. The hair. <laughs> he takes one point of psychic damage and he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Uh, scratches and then Obu on deck. Can Scratches even get over? I think Scratches can reach him. Yeah. Scratches is right next to him. Scratches can make okay. an attack with a rapier. Yeah. Is he flanking with Marlon, it looks like? Yeah. That's not a D20. Roll one. Me? Yep. Shouldn't have let me do that. We shouldn't have done that. No. We shouldn't have done that at all. Yes. Four, one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just really crowded over there with everybody congested next to those boxes. It's making it really difficult. Uh, Scratch is probably all he's going to do. Obu, you're up. So Obu, uh, she has... This is all for flavor, but... um. She has primal savagery, which makes her like spit or teeth, whatever, like acidic. Oh, yeah. So she wants to spit on him and then bite him. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna spit on him and bite him. Ew. Well, she doesn't really do a great job of it, I don't think. Um, she <laughs> gets a 10. 10. That's gonna miss. <laughs> yeah. He's but... pretty quick. He's nimble when he dodges the spit, <laughs> it starts to melt some of the box behind him. <laughs> and then she's just really upset. Okay. She's just really upset. Is that your bonus action to be really upset? Just be really upset. Okay. Silas, it's your go. I'm going to whack, whack him with a staff. Whack him with a staff? Yeah. Okay. Advantage. Uh, right. Where are you? Are you right next to him? I'm here. Oh, walk around. Well. Yeah, there's not really much. Yeah, you wouldn't have advantage here, but you can still try to attack him. Um. You know what? He's surrounded. I'm going to give you advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Hey, uh, I'll save you yeah, from rolling, rolling, rolling damage. Dead. Yeah. He's dead. You can describe how he goes there. I just want to, like, shove the staff right into his chest. He goes, <laughs> and his whole body goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then he falls over him. And he goes, <laughs> and he's dead. And he falls to the ground. Yeah. Okay. Unconscious. 
You guys are out of encounter. Mm. He's still tingling. Mm. Yeah! We did it, y'all! We, we have killed all house. these fools! Oh, wait, no, he's, get no, he's out of not this concentrating. Place. Yep, skeletons outside. We're not in any hurry now. At least there aren't well. any skeletons in our closet anymore. Well, there's still the one down there. Oh, there is that one oh, down there. There's still the one guy. He's in the bullet. Well, he's not. He's in a hole now. Maybe he's out. Maybe he's outside waiting for you. I don't know. Let's leave. Uh, oh, everything's okay. still kind of on fire. Yeah, everything's burning around. Uh, sorry, there's guys. There's darkened uh, areas where the explosions down here have occurred. And... I want to go up, like, up there and open the door and let the smoke event out. Sure. Yeah, you guys can. Well, you oh, gotta wait, watch wait, out. Wait. That'll make it reignite. You gotta watch out. You gotta do like the firefighters do and... I don't know exactly what they do, but they say never open up a door or a window like that. Okay. Help. I'll shape water and like put out. Thanks. Yeah. That's good. Don't you have to have water around to shape it? it? Did they there's drink probably, anything? What oh, if yeah. there's like a. Like you can go in the kitchen area use, and you get like. I'll just use some ale, it's fine. Go. Sure. <laughs> there's, no. blood on the, there's blood on the ground. You can be a blood bender. Oh, yeah, he can be a blood bender. He can just be a blood, blood and like stop it. Gross. We do our best. Okay, now we can open up the door. Okay, you move it's the a magical fire. It takes takes a few minutes to move those boxes out of the way, but you're able to move them. They, it looks like they stack the heaviest ones here, just to prevent you from being able to... Just like, they wanted to the make sure you guys had a confrontation with them before you could get out. They got one. They got yeah, one. They, did, uh, and they got dead every now. bit of it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, uh... Fight me. This has been a unique adventure here. It has. Let's leave. Yeah, I gonna... think we should get the Higgum Heck out of here, cause uh, well, we've got a spooky thing, and uh, this was a spooky place, and the uh, beach is still spooky. Yeah, so uh, how long did it take us to get up here? Uh, within like an hour or two. It was not a big island. Yeah, it's very small. An hour though. It's a long way to go without avoiding, or while avoiding confrontation from more skeletons. Do we need to sleep? Is everybody okay? I am so tired. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I mean, we can just stay here for the evening. Can I look outside? Oh, it's probably still morning. It is. It hasn't been very long. Yeah. Get out. That's... I totally we think... We need to get far away from here. Let's check um, Ozymandias' room real quick. Is I'm going to figure out what to do with him. We can just yeah, tie he's him. still technically alive. He's just really bad off and unconscious. Yeah. I'm going to go check out It'll his room. He'll be fine. I mean, like, Willow, will you come with me? Waking up and... Can you help me look this room up? We got two smashed hands, no working fingers. Yeah, I mean, he'll figure his way out. Well, as you die, of course. Okay. As you guys are moseying around his chambers, uh, room is, it seems to be full of kegs, bags, and boxes. There's a rough cot in one corner. There's a great deal of clutter everywhere, except for the cot. And this appears to be nothing more than disorganized. It looks like a disorganized storage room. Like there's a bunch of things put thrown around here. But as you move under the the cushions, uh, the, his his mattress basically under the cot, uh, there's a there are kind of like a wooden open case, and there's these four crystal decanters with corks in the top. Looks like they contain healing potions inside. Take those. Nice. Those are four uh, potions of healing. And the decanters, the, the bottles are actually in, look like they're worth a fair amount of money. I just realized something. Wouldn't Willow judge Obu really strongly about wearing the mithril armor? So I feel like we should have a discussion about that. Like, I feel like Willow and Ramsey, or Obu, should have a confrontation at some point. Like, what the heck are you doing, friend? We're besties. I like to think Obu and her, or Obu at least thinks that Willow and her are besties. Well, I, I did, as I was listening back through all the, uh, you guys have known each other for a total of 33 days. Yeah, we're besties. <laughs> so, besties. in D&D terms, you've known each other for just over a month. That's enough. That's enough for Obu. That's right. Obu still thinks he's creepy and probably calls him about any any in her head, so... But also, while you found that, I was also having my mind blown, so mm -hmm. I don't think I care that much right now. Yeah, she's probably a little bit traumatized. Mm -hmm. And also, it's now going to be underneath my clothes, because I feel like Obu would also May know not even that it's to be not... Honest. Hey, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I think she would know that it was... What is the word? Uh, Taboo. Taboo. Yeah. So, she's going to be a little... Sacrilegious! A little bit. 
Heathenistic. You know, and she has like a thousand, you know, silks and random things she's wearing. She looks like a homeless woman, so. <laughs> so as you guys go through Ozymandias' room, gather up these potions. Nothing else in here? Nothing else. I think that is going to be a good time for us to close this episode tonight. Yeah. As you guys have cleared out what was left of the survivors of the cult from the pirate invasion, you guys have made your way through this secret chamber and stumbled upon this box that, from what you've read, contains the Prime Stone. <sighs> the stone in which all bridal stones were originally cut. 